Chapter 3461 Ghost Dao Possession Long Chen's heart turned cold. Jiel Yuo was Lord Brahma's youngest disciple. He had also appeared here. Looking over, Long Chen saw the world rumbling. Bai Zhantang was fighting a slim man with a crown on his head. What shocked Long Chen was that Bai Zhantang was no longer suppressing his cultivation base, and it was finally revealed that he was a half step world king. Jiel Yuo was the same. When these two half step world kings fought, they shook the world. You trash, Bai Zhantang. You said that you would get revenge against me so long ago, but I'm still living so well. But what about your foolish son? Is he still alive? sneered Jiel Yuo. He wielded a silver sword against Bai Zhantang, and silver light sword out. The truth was that Bai Zhantang already had a grievance with Jiel Yuo. Back in the day, Bai Zhiel's mother was injured by this fellow, which harmed the fetus she was carrying. This was what had caused Bai Zhiel to be born with deficiencies, resulting in him having to go through so much pain. Just thinking of that drove Bai Zhantang crazy. He roared furiously, six Dao circulate, ghost Dao possession, undying, indestructible, black Kai exploded out of Bai Zhantang. That was ghost Kai. Now, blood-colored light flowed within his eyes. It was as if he had transformed into a wild devil. His blood Kai also erupted, and wild Kai waves battered the surroundings. As a result, the heavenly Daos crumbled before him. Bai Zhantang's aura instantly doubled in power. Long Chen also saw countless tentacles appear in the manifestation behind him. When they extended into heaven and earth, Long Chen sensed a familiar aura. That aura was something he had sensed from Wu Tian. It was an undying, indestructible aura. However, there was a qualitative difference between the two of their auras. Long Chen instantly understood that Wu Tian's undying, indestructible aura was constant, while Bai Zhan Tang had only entered a special but temporary state. Die! Bai Zhantang slashed his broadsword out and countless devils exploded. Even half-step world kings were as weak as ants before his current self. Boo! When Bai Zhantang and Jiel Yuo clashed, ripples exploded and astral winds blasted the world, tearing cracks into heaven and earth. Jiel Yuo was sent reeling back. It took him over ten steps to stabilize. In terms of power... He wasn't a match for Bai Zhantang. Suddenly, a trident silently appeared behind Bai Zhantang and stabbed through his body. Everyone cried out in shock. Without even looking back, Bai Zhantang swung his broadsword behind him. His sneak attacker was a devil who was blown apart. Don't attack him. He is in an undying, indestructible state. No one can cause him substantial wounds. Go break the formation shouted Jiel Yuo. As old opponents, Bai Zhantang was familiar with Jiel Yuo's abilities, and Jiel Yuo was also familiar with Bai Zhantang's abilities. Just as Jiel Yuo said this, Bai Zhantang unleashed another slash of his broadsword, sending Jiel Yuo even further back. HMPH, once your ghost Dao possession ends, I will cut off your head. Jiel Yuo sneered and retreated. He knew that the current Bai Shantang could not be defeated. Fighting with him directly was meaningless. You shameless fellow, fight me fair and square, roared Bai Shantang. A wise man would rather win with wits instead of power. Only a foolish man relies on brute power. I went through such pain to cross heavens. Do you think it was just to take your life? You view yourself too highly. I came to destroy your seventh branch academy. Taking your dog life is something I'll do in passing, sneered Jiel Yuo. Fuck you. Bai Zhantang roared and continued attacking Jiel Yuo. But Jiel Yuo repeatedly dodged, refusing to fight him head on. His goal was only to keep Bai Zhantang tied down and wait for his ghost Dao possession to end. At this time, 
countless devil experts and fiend devils were charging at the high firmament academy although the battle god palace's experts were fighting them at full power and by shishi was slaughtering them with her golden sword there were too many enemies furthermore they were coming from all directions there was no stopping them by Ting felt like he might just explode from rage his goal was to quickly kill jael yuo and then protect the academy but jael yuo was too crafty he refused to fight by jantain directly and only stalled him however he didn't dare to let jael yuo off either because jael yuo would attack the others hence bai jantain was caught in a stalemate and could only roar in fury suddenly a heaven-shaking roar rang out and a giant figure appeared this three hundred meter giant made kin feng and kai yu jump they almost mistook zu zixin for wilda zu zixin had summoned the barbarian blood battle body transforming into a giant his rod swung out repeatedly at this moment his power had instantly surpassed even kin feng and kai yu's endless devils poured out amongst the junior generation only by shishi by Ziol, kin feng kai yu and zu zixin had charged into the battlefield the other disciples had been terrified at the start but quickly summoned their courage to also go out however they were shouted at to stop against ordinary immortal kings they would have no problem but right now even the weakest enemies were half-step world kings and there were also world kings amongst them if these disciples went out they would only be sending themselves to their graves Sayol, chant with me heavenly eye descends shaking the stars piercing the void seeing the true form of gods by Ziol's mother sternly caught by Ziol. the two of them sat on top of the barrier chanting some scripture by Ziol originally wanted to go out and fight but seeing how stern his mother's expression was he didn't dare to disobey he formed hand seals and chanted with his mother as they chanted their three flower pupils appeared following that a pair of giant eyes appeared in their manifestations it was like the eyes of gods overlooking the world a pillar of light then connected the four divine eyes and spread forming a ripple covering the entire academy those enemies struck by the ripple were instantly sent flying it was as if some invisible energy had rejected them yet also as if they had simply been transported away they were unable to get through at this moment the academy's elders were going all out embedding new immortal king crystals into the grand formations they hoped to repair the grand formations as fast as possible right now both sides were in a race for time their enemies were trying to break through before the formations repaired themselves while long chen and the others were doing their best to stall for time for the barrier to repair as for the disciples they could only watch anxiously they clenched their hands tightly but the elders refused to let them go they could only watch they felt hatred they hated themselves for not being strong enough unable to fight alongside long chen at the most critical time they were unable to help at all that felt even worse than dying to them people looked at where long chen was and saw endless devil eye water lilies they were gigantic and gradually covered him up now everyone's heart clenched the devil eye water lily race seemed to have come in even greater numbers than the devils although the devil eye water lily race's experts didn't have the title of the undying in their names they were still life forms of the undying world hence they possessed immense life energy and endless divine abilities but long chen was stopping all of them on his own he was under the most pressure yuo cheng was stared at him closely praying inside for him to be fine split the heavens suddenly a furious roar rang out and a heavenly saber slashed down like a river of stars chapter three thousand four hundred sixty two in pewda appears boom a saber crashed down shattering the dao as a result countless runes flew through the air 
and a bloody path appeared amongst the devil i water lilies long chen seemed to be possessed by a devil god and his figure was rapidly charging over on the other side was another figure being blown back when people saw that figure they gasped in shock it was a world king long chen had actually exchanged blows with a world king of the devil i water lily race the immense shock waves blew away countless devil i water lilies some of the closest ones were directly blown apart this time long chen didn't manage to shatter his opponent's five colored divine sword instead his arms were numb this world king of the devil i water lily race was too powerful he had transformed into human form not only did he possess terrifying power but he also had the five powers of metal wood water fire and earth when those five elements merged it was like he possessed five spiritual bodies in one his attacks were sharp and heavy as if nothing could stop them most frightening of all his attacks also contained a spiritual aspect if it weren't for long chen's vast spiritual strength and firm dao heart he would definitely be badly affected there was truly no need to doubt the power of the devil i water lily race while long chen's arm was numb his opponent also didn't have it easy long chen's split the heavens had caused his manifestation to suddenly dim it only returned to its original state after several breaths time clearly even for him long chen's attack required immense power to counter his expression changed he suddenly swung his hand and all the devil eye water lilies retreated long chen pointed at the world king and coldly said you were used by others if you stop now it will still be in time if instead you continue attacking the academy then i long chen swear to make the devil i water lily race pay ten thousand times the price long chen could also see that with the final exchange that world king was a bit afraid now the loon come if they continued fighting perhaps he himself might be fine but there would be quite a few casualties amongst his fellow devil i water lilies he didn't want to see so many casualties instead he wanted to take a step back allowing the others to take the vanguard and thus the most losses long chen saw that the other areas were in crisis as well the devil eye water lily race had been temporarily cowed so he had to go reinforce the others clearly the devil world the devil sea and the devil eye water lily race were being used by others for this attack on the academy but when it came to the devil eye water lily race their enmity only stemmed from a seed pod so it still hadn't reached the point of no return thus long chen made this pledge hoping that they would retreat now long chen also didn't want to offend so many people the hundreds of thousands of experts of the devil i water lily race slowly fell back standing in the distance to just watch but the devils and sea demons of the devil world and devil sea continued to crazily charge at the academy although by Ziol and his mother had created a spatial barrier which sent anyone who charged through away such a thing rapidly depleted their spatial energy they couldn't maintain it for long split the heavens long chen unleashed a wave of saber light that blasted through enemies inside the academy the disciples unleashed excited cheers when they saw how unstoppable long chen was they felt like his glory was theirs as well as if they were the ones slaughtering these devils long chen you go west i'll take the east when long chen and bai shishi passed by each other bai shishi shouted at him both sides were under pressure and needed to be reinforced all right be careful save some energy the real enemy has yet to appear transmitted long chen bai shishi's heart shook there were still more enemies lying in wait long chen charged to the west the battle god palace's experts here were being forced back there were too many enemies and they were only a dozen people they couldn't stop the enemies 
Long Chen then unleashed split the heavens three times. His huge area attacks filled this area with corpses, lightening the pressure on this area instantly. The battle god palace's experts worked together with Long Chen to force back their enemies. While Long Chen attacked, he also gathered the corpses on the battlefield and put them in the primal chaos space. He could already guess the goal of his opponents. That terrifying attack just now was the result of condensing all the energy of the fallen devils. But Long Chen didn't know what method they had used. Thus, he was still uneasy. As he slaughtered these enemies, he did his best to suck them into the primal chaos space as fast as possible so that they couldn't be used by their enemies. Unfortunately, the battlefield was too big and he was unable to cover the entire thing. But every bit that he took in was one bit that the enemy couldn't absorb. Another half an instant's sticks worth of time passed. The holes in the barrier had vanished, but it was still covered in cracks. It was still too weak to endure another such attack. If they wanted to return it to its previous state, it would take at least an hour. This hour was the crux to victory or defeat. The thing that made Long Chen the most uneasy was that the other side had not even shown themselves yet. He didn't know what scheme they were cooking up in the dark, but he refused to believe that the other side was composed of only Jiel Yuo. Everything was clearly premeditated. Jiel Yuo had appeared to stop Bai Zhanten, essentially stopping the Academy's strongest trump card. Bai Zhanteng was in his ghost Dao possession state, and it could be considered as if he was now a merger of two powers within him. However, all of that immense power had been dragged away by Jiel Yuo. There had to be some goal behind his action. While Long Chen grabbed the corpses on the ground, he also kept an eye on the entire battlefield. Time passed bit by bit. Every breath seemed as long as an hour. The barrier was being repaired too slowly, and the feeling of unease grew. Long Chen felt the other side to be truly sinister. He was always forced to fight passively. It was very unfavorable to him. However, there was also nothing he could do. He had been schemed against once more. The situation was precarious, but he could only wait. That made him furious. He truly disliked being toyed with like he was a fool. Suddenly, the world shook and another pillar of light shot toward the academy. Long Chen's heart sank. This attack was just as terrifying as the last. It was unstoppable. Long Chen clenched his teeth. He prepared to risk his life to stop it, but he suddenly found that although this attack was flying in the direction of the academy, it was off target. Boom. As expected, just as Long Chen and the others were confused, that attack shattered the space above the academy. The void was torn apart, leaving a giant hole. Long Chen and the others were startled. If this attack had landed on the formation, it would definitely break. Although Long Chen had been willing to risk his life to stop it, he really had no confidence in being able to stop it. However, such a terrifying attack had actually gone off target. Furthermore, at this moment, countless figures began to appear in the distance. Long Chen instantly spotted a treacherous fatty, Enpuda. Seeing Enpuda's sinister smile, Long Chen's heart sank. It seemed that they had missed on purpose. Would it be? Long Chen turned back to that hole in the void, his expression changing. Chapter 3463 In Pewdus scheme, countless figures appeared in all directions. These were all black-robed, masked experts whose cultivation bases couldn't even be sensed. They were like soul-stealers from hell. At this moment, Pairs of emotionless eyes eyed people's necks. It felt as if some daggers might cut through their throats at any given time. These people were all assassins. Although they all wore black robes, there were different marks on their sleeves and collars. One was the blood character, and the other was the underworld character. They were respectively from the Nine Underworld Hall and the Bloodkill Hall. With Long Chen's sharp spiritual perception, 
he could sense that these people were all immortal king assassins. There were hundreds of thousands of them. Assassins possessed immense killing power that could kill across realms. They were all fiends lying in the shadows, specialized at launching fatal attacks while people weren't on guard. On the battlefield, it would be better to fight world kings than have them play hide and seek. Long Chen, you're still too tender. Last time, something unexpected let you run. But this time, no accidents will occur. Everyone here will die. Imputa smiled at Long Chen sinisterly from far away. Damn Fetty, you're getting happy too soon. How do you know that I don't have other trump cards? Speaking of which, I heard that you tried to cause trouble for Mo Nyan. Ah, I suppose you don't know that the fellow who helped me last time is called Mo Nyan. He sent me some news that he managed to slap you in the face. Is that true? asked Long Chen. He was trying to conveniently get some information on Mo Nyan's whereabouts. If he asked directly, Imputa naturally wouldn't reply, so Long Chen was hoping to con him. However, what Long Chen hadn't expected was for Imputa's expression to twist angrily. Killing intent blazed in his eyes. I will make that fellow die a miserable death sooner or later. Unfortunately, you won't get to see it. Long Chen was shocked and stared at Imputed in disbelief. He really did slap you in the face. Just how smart was Imputa? Seeing Long Chen's expression, he knew that Long Chen had conned him. Hence, he was infuriated. Just then, a huge spatial portal appeared in the giant hole of the void. Nether Kai poured out of it. Imputa suppressed his fury and smiled. Long Chen... You really are a bit smart. You actually activated your grand formations ahead of time to block my killing blow. Regretfully for you, I, Imputa, never do anything that I am not assured of. I know just how difficult you are to deal with. Thus, I made more preparations. Just in case you blocked my first attack, the second attack would pierce the wall between worlds, creating a channel to the netherworld. Although you might have been gathering the corpses, afraid that I would gather their blood-soul energy, you are wrong. I didn't want their blood-soul energy. I'd only wanted their devil Kai. Once they die, their devil Kai is still absorbed. So, gathering the corpses is a meaningless effort. If it weren't for the fact that our formation is unable to attack multiple times in a row, I wouldn't even bother to have seen your brother Jael Yuo come out. Because you are afraid that Bai Jianteng can block your attack? Asked Long Chen coldly. Prepped. His ghost Dao possession is truly monstrous. In that state, he has an undying body and truly has the ability to block this attack. Thus, in order to prevent any accidents, senior brother Jiel Yuo drew him out just to prevent him from stopping this attack. Our goal isn't just to destroy your seventh branch academy. We will also give this vile dragon domain to a tribe of the netherworld, and this place will quickly become filled with nether kai. Having activated its supreme defenses, your foundation stone is no longer stable. It will gradually be corroded by the netherworld's aura. In just a day, it will rot. In other words, tomorrow... You and your seventh branch academy will forever vanish from this world, explained Imputa calmly. Hearing his words, everyone felt ice cold. Imputa was truly sinister. He was going to make sure that the seventh branch academy never managed to rise again. What a great plan. Before this, you use an ancient corpse to draw over the devil. I water lily race, using them as a dog watching over this territory. Now, you're using the netherworld's experts to be your fighters. I really admire you. Lord Brahma truly has amazing abilities. He has all kinds of connections, said Long Chen lightly. Brett, you are courting death. You dare to blaspheme Lord Brahma. Just then, the skinny black-robed elder beside Imputa shouted, So you must be the master of the Nine Underworld Hall. Old fellow, 
sooner or later i will definitely turn your head into a kick ball declared long chen coldly this person was precisely the master of the nine underworld hall Lyo Benkeng. just hearing long chen and in pudis conversation had made him impatient hence as soon as long chen mentioned lord brahma he immediately berated him however long chen's provocation made Lyo Benkeng frown darkly his killing intent erupted just as the rumors said the master of the nine underworld hall had an explosive temper and pewda quickly stepped forward and said long chen i'll give you a chance if you swear to follow divine venerate brahma we can spare your life in fact we can even spare everyone here have you gone crazy lyo benkin was enraged his goal was to destroy the seventh branch academy and kill everyone here but Imputa actually said that he would let off everyone. Furthermore, he hadn't discussed this with Lyo Benking beforehand. This was a kind of provocation toward him. Imputa ignored Lyo Benking and looked only at Long Chen, waiting for his reply. Long Chen smiled. Imputa, your scheming really is refined. It was due to your miscalculation that I could reclaim the Seventh Branch Academy. Even if you destroy the Seventh Branch Academy now, it will still draw Lord Brahma's ire. But if you could pull me to his side, it wouldn't just be a slap in the face to the High Firmament Academy. The Academy's morale would plummet, and you would have a brilliant counterattack. What a nice idea! Just as Long Chen said, if he surrendered, the impact on the High Firmament Academy would be huge. That was because Long Chen was claimed to be the strongest new talent in the High Firmament Academy's history. Also, he was the youngest dean ever. He had countless titles and honors to him. This was why he was viewed as the High Firmament Academy's hope for the future. If he, Long Chen, were to surrender to Lord Brahma, it would be a fatal blow to the High Firmament Academy. It went without saying that Imputa's scheming was profound. Unfortunately, Imputa didn't know that the High Firmament Academy absolutely refused to believe that Long Chen would ever join Lord Brahma. That was because he was a nine-star heir. When Long Chen said this, the enraged Lai Obenking calmed down slightly. But right after that, his expression twisted with fury once more. That was because he hadn't thought that far, but Imputa had not discussed it with him anyway. It was essentially treating him like a fool. Liu Asha, kill him! Lyo Benkeng suddenly roared. Hearing that, Imputa was incensed. But before he could say anything, a ripple appeared in the space behind Long Chen, and a dagger silently stabbed toward the back of his neck. Chapter 3000 Four hundred sixty four rank one heavenly fiend nine underworld Luacha the attack came silently without any warning at all. It was an attack launched right in the gap of a person's senses, and it was as quick as lightning. Long Chen himself was startled. He hadn't expected that someone would be able to approach him without him even sensing it. The attack was almost at his neck when it appeared and it was the fastest attack he had ever seen. It was far too late for him to dodge. Sparks flew. A saber sheath suddenly appeared behind Long Chen, blocking that dagger right at that moment of life and death. Despite that, an immense force was transmitted through it, sending Long Chen staggering forward. Long Chen didn't even wait to stabilize himself. The Minghong saber already slashed behind him. Metallic ringing once more rang out. Despite there being nothing there before, he swung. His saber perfectly blocked the second attack from that dagger. The two divine weapons then rumbled as they clashed. As their masters fought, so did the weapons. The void shuddered, and only now did Long Chen see who had attacked him. It was a slender woman veiled in a woman's head covering. Her hair was short, and her eyes were narrow and icy. If it weren't for the way that they were focused, they would seem just like the eyes of a dead person. Also, 
her aura was completely concealed not a trace of it leaked all her aura was sealed within her body long chen then narrowed his eyes he had never seen such a cultivation technique it had to be known that most people needed to unleash their aura or if they used too much power they would injure themselves they might even cause their own death that way however this person was strangely talented all her power was locked inside her body and yet her attacks were still hard and concentrated not a trace of her power was wasted you are the nine underworld liuacha asked long chen remember my name because the owner of this name will kill you said the nine underworld liuacha her voice was just like her emotionless and dry like a machine suddenly she vanished from beneath long chen's saber she left no sign of where she went or how she moved her movement art was completely ephemeral long chen stabbed his saber forward as a result the nine underworld liuacha that had just vanished reappeared she hadn't run just now but instead taken a step back her dagger blocked long chen's saber a trace of astonishment appeared in her cold eyes with her special talent she was a supreme expert within the nine underworld hall that was why she was bestowed with the name of the nine underworld liuacha the nine underworld liuacha was the title given to the nine underworld hall's strongest disciple only those who had passed through the cruelest nine underworld trial could obtain that title as the only one in the past million years to pass the nine underworld trial her movement art was obtained from that trial also other than the hall master Lyo Benking, no one in the nine underworld hall could see through her movement art so she hadn't expected long chen to be able to see through it normally when she vanished like that a person would instinctively spread their senses around but it was at that moment that she would kill them she had never failed except for today i don't remember the names of those i killed because i've killed far too many people i really can't remember them all said long chen coldly the killing intent in his eyes raged like a tsunami she was the nine underworld liuacha and her hands were soaked in the blood of nine star heirs long chen seemed to see the sights of countless nine star heirs roaring as they were unwillingly killed suddenly countless stars lit up on long chen's saber and it rumbled shaking the world after that the nine underworld liuacha's pupils shrank she found that long chen had somehow locked onto her with a supreme mental energy at the same time his saber seemed to be bestowed with the power of the stars it was trying to directly crush her he was actually competing with her in pure brute strength a clash that would not stop until one of them was dead in this state she could only fight against him as he wished the moment she thought of dodging or running away long chen's power would erupt as her power scattered she would then be instantly destroyed i have never feared anyone when it comes to power the nine underworld liuacha snorted a red rune then lit up on her forehead and spread to cover her entire body following that a giant figure appeared behind her when it manifested a dark ominous aura filled the sky that figure was clearly humanoid but the aura that it unleashed seemed more like that of a devil from the depths of hell it made people's souls shake long chen be careful that is the nine underworld liuacha an infamous devil species from ancient times it was a species that slaughtered endless life forms on a battlefield like this she can absorb all the leftover resentment of the slain to give her boundless power shouted by shishi's mother when she saw that figure she had originally thought that the title of the nine underworld liuacha was merely to intimidate others she hadn't expected it to be really related to an ancient devil species the nine underworld hall had a trial region that had the nine underworld liuacha's soul consecrated within anyone who passed the trial would obtain the nine underworld liuacha's inheritance and their blessing 
the nine underworld Luyuacha slaughtered life forms to live and absorbed their resentment to cultivate. And on the battlefield, a huge amount of resentment accumulated from those that were slain. Hence, the nine underworld Luyuacha's manifestation gave her endless power. On this battlefield, she was unrivaled. So what if you know? I abandoned my true name, walking beneath the heavens with the title of the Luacha. The Nine Underworld Luacha is me. I am the Nine Underworld Luacha. When I descend upon the world, the ten thousand races can only quiver beneath my feet and weep, said the Nine Underworld Luacha coldly. Her voice had changed once more, and so had her spiritual fluctuations. An ancient desolate aura now came from her body. It was as if that ancient nine underworld Luacha from ancient times had been revived. Long Chen's Minghong saber then rumbled, and his power pressed down on the nine underworld Luacha's dagger. Under that immense power, the void fractured like a mirror, the cracks spreading far and wide. Who cares if you're the nine underworld Luacha or the ten underworld Luacha? In front of me, you can only kneel. Long Chen pressed down. Ignorant fool, an ant like you will never know just how terrifying the Luacha race is. The expressionless nine underworld Luacha was suddenly enraged. It seemed that Long Chen's despise of the Luacha race was the greatest insult to her. The Luacha race is nothing. Do you think you're fit to fight my Mei Long Chen? Long Chen roared, his eyes scarlet. He had almost shouted my nine star line. Long Chen's blood kai raged within him like a surging river. As his blood kai surged, his meridians and blood vessels widened, increasing his power to the max. Thinking of how this woman had slain nine star heirs, how those hot blooded men filled with great dreams had been killed, Long Chen's hatred overflowed. Died. Suddenly, Long Chen and the nine underworld Liuacher roared at the same time. Both of their powers erupted. At that moment, the world instantly changed color. Chapter 3465 Your whole family consists of fools. A sphere of light grew between the two of them, growing until it created a giant zone of death. Lightning raged within. As the ten thousand Daos were suppressed, heaven and earth twisted. Even the stars in the sky shuddered. What kind of power is this? The disciples inside the academy stared in horror, feeling as small as ants. They sensed incredible destructive power within that raging spear. They had all advanced to the Divine Lord realm. Although they wouldn't dare to say that they were now unrivaled beneath the heavens, at the very least, they should be considered experts. However, this battle between Long Chen and the nine underworld Luacha taught them what kind of power was required to stand at the peak. The nine underworld Luacha's manifestation shuddered, and ancient desolate Kai came pouring out of her. Right now, runes flowed on top of her body. It was like a true Luacha had been revived, its power swallowing the heavens. As for Long Chen, his divine ring circulated and the starry river quivered. His 108,000 stars were all burning, sending endless power pouring throughout his body. That power then converged within his saber. Die! Both of them shouted at the same time. As a result, two pillars of light exploded out of the sphere, charging into the clouds. Astral winds tore at the world like blades, while countless holes appeared within heaven and earth. The world was left riddled with holes, seemingly on the verge of collapse. Countless invisible spatial blades then followed the astral winds. Seeing this scene, the experts fighting quickly retreated, but the sea demon race's giant bodies were unable to dodge, so they were cut to pieces, their blood soaking the ground. You fool, if Long Chan is pulled under the divine venerate, it would be a great meritorious achievement. But you just want to destroy him. Seeing this power of Long Chen's, Imputa glared at Lyo Benke. You're the fool. Your whole family consists of fools. 
you were the one who carelessly lost the vile dragon domain, and now I'm taking it back. Killing Long Chen is also my achievement. You damn fatty, if you don't shut your mouth, I'll kill you. Don't think that your little smarts will let you do whatever you want. Lio Bengkang furiously pointed at Inpuda and cursed. Inpuda's expression sank, but he didn't continue speaking. Despite his bellful of anger, he knew how to endure. He knew that if Lio Bengkang was truly enraged, this idiot would really attack him here. Inputo was originally planning on using everyone else's life to threaten Long Chen. He had gotten a general grasp of Long Chen's character, so he knew his weakness. However, this idiot Lio Benkang was too stupid. His vision was short-sighted, and he was afraid that after Long Chen submitted, the credit would go to Inputo. Thus, he wanted to kill Long Chen so that it would be Inputo who had made the mistake and Lyo Benkang, who was fixing it. The credit would go to him, and the blame would go to Inputa. Long Chen and the nine underworld Luachis figures began to appear and vanish. Every clash between them was a full power exchange that shook the heavens. What no one had expected was that the nine underworld Luachis was different from ordinary assassins. Her attacks were sharp, but she didn't use too many tricks. She mostly fought openly and directly. It was just that she was so fast it was like she had a transportation formation activating around her. She blinked through the void, leaving countless afterimages. Lightning crackled beneath Long Chen's feet. While using the Lightning Falcon race's movement art, his speed was also pushed to the limit. When the two of them fought, it looked as if dozens of them were fighting at once. People were unable to see clearly. As they tried to grasp where they were, explosions rang out in new places. The battle was chaotic. As the two of them fought, their speed only increased. Furthermore, people were shocked to find that their auras were also growing stronger. It was as if they would grow limitlessly. Their auras were like the fires of a furnace, which grew stronger as they burned. Golden light began to appear out of Long Chen's body. That was a sign that his blood kai was unleashed to the limit. As for the nine underworld Luacha, divine light was shining around her. She had almost merged with her manifestation. The Luacha behind her was originally illusory, but as time passed, the eyes of the Luacha opened at some point, and a violent divine pressure crashed down. It was as if a devil god from ancient times had reappeared. The Luacha has opened its eyes. Long Chen's death is at hand. Seeing that, Lyo Benking smiled confidently. Only he knew just how strong the Nine Underworld Luacha was. Oh, an intense explosion ended the clash between Long Chen and the Nine Underworld Luacha. After their last exchange, both of them fell back. Suddenly, the nine underworld Luacha stuck out her tongue and wrapped it around her dagger. Blood then flowed out of her tongue, instantly dyeing the dagger red. When the dagger turned crimson, the aura of her life vanished. But the Luacha behind her seemed to have come to life. Long Chen, you blasphemed my Luacha race. Your death won't be enough to wipe out your sins. Although I have not fully mastered the Luacha possession and can only unleash a tenth of its power, it's more than enough to kill you. Go repent in the other world. The nine underworld Luacha's voice rang throughout heaven and earth. It was as if thousands of Luachas were speaking at once. When she raised her dagger this time, the stars twisted. Within a brilliant light, there seemed to be an invisible power condensing on her dagger. Upon seeing that, all the experts fighting couldn't help but stop. Even the enemies slowly retreated. Those devils and sea demons ran. As for the one fighting Jiao Yuo, Bai Jiantang, his expression completely changed. He actually abandoned Jiao Yuo to fly toward Long Chen. He knew just how terrifying this technique was. If you save him, I'll have enough time to kill your two women, 
as well as your son and daughter. Jael Yuo smiled sinisterly. By Jantan's fury soared. He once more charged at Jael Yuo, but Jael Yuo sneered and dodged, refusing to fight him directly. Seeing Long Chen in danger, Bai Shishi was about to fly over to fight alongside him when Long Chen raised his saber. At this moment, a sharp pull soared. In the face of the Nine Underworld Yuach's heavy aura, battle intent raged within Long Chen's eyes. I already said, the Yuacha race is not qualified to act arrogant in front of me. Rumbling rang out of his body like a flood was breaking through multiple dams. After eighteen dams, Long Chen's saber began to quiver, and a giant saber image soared into the heavens, one that caused the heavens to quiver. After that, a destructive aura unfurled. Cracks sounded and lightning thundered. When the saber image pierced into the heavens, the heavenly dows quivered. The saber was something even gods and ghosts would flee from. Moreover, all the murderous aura was sucked dry and all the rumbling of manifestations vanished. The world fell deathly silent. Everyone, including Imputa and Lyo Benken, was shocked. They had never seen such a terrifying saber before. No matter how strong you are, you will still die to my Liuacha soul extermination stab, shouted the Nine Underworld Liuacha. The Liuacha behind her unleashed an attack that caused the heavens to collapse. Then let's see just who will die. Split the heavens too, Long Chen shouted, holding his saber. As a man and saber merged, endless power flooded out. It was as if a volcano that had been suppressed for millions and millions of years had finally found a way to explode. Boom! Both of their ultimate techniques erupted, smashing into each other in front of countless appalled gazes. Chapter 3466 Chaotic Scene It felt as if two suns were colliding. Blinding pain stabbed countless people's eyes, and they instantly lost their vision. It felt like the world was being torn apart. Following that, they felt like the space around them was twisting, as if their bodies and souls were twisting as well. Even the experts of the Battle God Palace coughed up blood. As for those half-step world king sea demons and devils, they simply exploded and a bloody stench filled the air. When everyone's vision was restored, it seemed as if the entire world had turned red. It was as if they had fallen into hell. The terrain had completely changed. If it weren't for the barrier still standing, they might not know where they were. The academy's formations shuddered. Fortunately, they were far enough from Long Chen that the barrier held on. But many cracks that had just healed reopened again. Everyone then looked at Long Chen. His black hair and robes fluttered around him, and his saber was once more pointed at the heavens. Although his face was a bit pale, and his aura was not as steady as before, his gaze was electric. He was still overflowing with battle intent. As for the Nine Underworld Yuacha facing him, blood leaked out of the corner of her mouth. Also, the head covering veiling her face was destroyed, revealing her true appearance. What no one had expected was that her veiled face was covered in countless spots. Some even seemed connected like ferocious reptiles. Just that sight made people feel afraid. However, her arm was covered in fresh blood. Long Chen's saber had almost made her arm explode. I told you, who cares if you're the Nine Underworld Liuacha or the Ten Underworld Liuacha? In front of me, you have no right to be arrogant, sneered Long Chen. Just then, another saber image soared into the heavens and came slashing down. Even before it landed, a ferocious heaven-splitting will cause the ten thousand Daos to wail. What? The nine underworld Liuacha was shocked. She had assumed that Long Chen's flipping blood Kai from that exchange had yet to recover. That should be the case according to reason. How was he able to unleash such a terrifying attack again in such a short time? Oh, Long Chen didn't give her time to consider this question. 
The heaven-soaring saber image came crashing down mercilessly, so the nine underworld Liuacha spat a mouthful of blood on her dagger. The next moment, the Liuacha image behind her that was originally starting to dim grew condensed again. With an explosive sound, the ground beneath her feet crumbled. The nine underworld Liuacha was smashed into the earth by Long Chen's attack. Before, the two of them had been even, but this time she was unable to stop Long Chen's power. She had no choice but to fall back, borrowing a bit of Long Chen's force to retreat. A bottomless abyss had appeared in the ground from Long Chen's saber. However, the nine underworld Liuacha had vanished. Long Chen was about to chase after her with the Minghong saber when the void once more rumbled. That huge spatial channel above the academy had finally finished condensing, so the aura of the netherworld came gushing out. Following that, a tide of netherworld experts flew out. At the head of this group were five world kings. Seeing this scene, Long Chen's heart plummeted. He was incensed. He had once more fallen for impute a scheme. Compared to this old fellow, he really was lacking some maturity. Imputus schemes came one after another in an endless tie. They didn't give Long Chen any breathing room. This time, there really was nothing he could do. Long Chen, I'll now give you your last chance. Join the vine, venerate Brahma, and I can spare all your lives. All I will do is destroy the Seventh Branch Academy. Otherwise, you will only be able to watch as all your Academy's people are killed here, announced in Puda. He could see further than Lyo Benking, and he saw that Long Chen's talent was amazing. At such a young age, Long Chen already had such power, a power that was greater than the Nine Underworld Liuacha. His potential was limitless. If Imputa could have Long Chen join Lord Brahma, then his mistake this time would be completely forgiven. In fact, Lord Brahma would probably be delighted. Nine Underworld Liuacha, where are you? Hurry up and kill Long Chen. I order you to use your trump card. Lyo Benking ignored Imputa and shouted, Long Chen? What no one had expected was that the newly descended army from the netherworld didn't immediately attack the academy. Instead, they heard Long Chen's name and were surprised. Long Chen. Master Long Chen, is that you? One of the world kings looked at Long Chen in disbelief. You're... Damn, it really is you. When Long Chen looked closely, he finally recognized this world king. The latter had helped Long Chen row the boat across the Black Sea when they had gone to Wu Chan's city. However, he wasn't one of Wu Chan's important generals, so Long Chen hadn't paid him much attention. Fortunately, his memory was decent, or things would be awkward now. Ahaha, what a coincidence. I didn't expect to encounter you here again. That world king was delighted and shouted. Hearing that this world king actually recognized Long Chen and even called him master with such a reverent tone, Imputa and Lyo Benkeng were dumbfounded. Let alone them, even everyone in the academy was dumbfounded. Long Chen knew world kings from the Nair world. That was unimaginable. Boom! Just then, the earth erupted and the nine underworld Liuacha came flying out. After that brief delay, her aura seemed to have recovered, and her attack was once more incredibly sharp. Hence, Long Chen's saber slashed down again, and the nine underworld Liuacha was sent staggering several steps back. Master Long Chen, what is going on? Do you need us to do anything? After his excitement, that world king realized that Long Chen was in battle. Then I won't stand on courtesy. Help me lock down this area. Kill all the fellows other than the human race. Other than that, there's a damn fatty and a damn skinny there, as well as that dog thing and this spotted woman. They are all enemies. Don't let them flee. Afraid that this world king wouldn't be able to differentiate between friend and foe, Long Chen specially pointed out in Puda, Lyo Benkang Jiao Yuo, and the Nine Underworld Liuacha. 
All right. Master, don't worry, we'll definitely handle this perfectly. That person didn't hesitate. He directly gave orders, and this army of the netherworld took out their weapons and collapsed on the sea demons, devils, and even the devil I water lily race. Imputer roared with a mixture of shock and rage. Bastards, what are you doing? Aren't you the black nether race? Your divine venerate subordinates. Boom. His reply was a hammer that struck him like a shooting star. What subordinates? Nil. Divine venerate Brahma. All we care about is Master Wu Chan. The black nether race betrayed Master Wu Chan and was just destroyed by us. You are their friends. Then you are our enemies. The five world kings pounced on Impuda and Lio Benking. The scene instantly became chaotic. Lio Benking was dumbfounded, so he furiously cursed Impuda. You damn fatty, tell me what's going on. Chapter 3467 The second form of Split the Heavens in Kudo himself was dumbfounded, not knowing what was going on. It had clearly been a flawless plan, but it had suddenly taken an incomprehensible turn. Five world king experts wielding divine weapons of the netherworld that had Death Kai whirling around them attacked in Puda and Lio Bedkang, sending them stumbling back. Well, in the distance, Long Chen and the Nine Underworld Liuachu once more clashed. Long Chen no longer had any misgivings. There was nothing he needed to hold back now. After this attack, a flame lotus appeared in his left hand. World Extermination Flame Lotus. The flame lotus flew at the Nine Underworld Liuacha. In return, the Liuacha image behind her clasped its hands together and they formed a giant shield in front of her. Yuacha guard, the nine underworld Yuacha shouted, and countless runes appeared on the Yuacha's hands, forming a layer around her. Boom! The world extermination flame lotus smashed into the clasped hands. Flames and runes weaved together and exploded at the same time. Split the heavens too! Long Chen shouted, unleashing another heavenly saber at her. The nine underworld Liuacha was shocked. Only now did she realize that Long Chen's flame lotus had been nothing more than something to draw her vision. It concealed the true killing blow. Long Chen's techniques came too quickly. Now, it was already too late for her to unleash the Liuacha soul extermination stab, so she clenched her teeth. The spots on her face suddenly quivered and seemed to come to life. Blood soul sacrifice, Liuacha possession. Following that, her flesh withered in an instant. She was like a skeleton covered in a layer of skin now. But the Liuacha manifestation behind her instantly solidified as if it now possessed a body of flesh and blood. She merged into her manifestation, transforming into the Liuacha. She had completely finished the Liuacha possession. The current her had multiplied in power, and countless runes flowed within her body. Boom! When Long Chen's saber fell, the Nine Underworld Liuacha received his attack with her dagger. The two divine weapons struck each other, and a half spear of energy exploded out of both of them. Two opposing forces crashed against each other. Long Chen felt like a sea was flipping inside of him, so he coughed up a mouthful of blood. In the Liuacha possession, she actually possessed the power of time. Because of it, Long Chen was injured. However, the Nine Underworld Liuacha didn't fare better. Long Chen had unleashed a full power attack while she had been forced to make a hasty defense. Now, blood was pouring out of her seven orifices. Damnable bastard, I am from the great Liuacha race. You dare to injure me? I will tear your corpse into ten thousand pieces. The nine underworld Liuacha shrieked. As if possessed by a ghoul, she charged at Long Chen. A little Liuacha race dares to call itself great. Today I will beat you into a paste. Long Chen wiped the blood off of his mouth. His injuries instantly healed with the wood foundation divine trees. 
he wasn't afraid of being injured. Split the heavens, too. Wang Chen once more raised his saber, unleashing his simplest, most direct attack. He had no need for flashy techniques. This was a clash of power of who was stronger. Yuacha soul extermination stab, the nine underworld Yuacha roared. Both of them unleashed their strongest attacks again. The nine underworld Yuacha's eyes were red. Long Chen wanted a direct clash, and she also wanted a direct clash. Both of them had the utmost confidence in their power. One was a terrifying nine-star heir, while the other was a heavenly genius of the nine underworld hall that had received the inheritance of the Yuacha race. They both believed that they were the strongest. Boom, boom, boom. Everyone was amazed and horrified to see Long Chen and the nine underworld Liuacha clash three times with their strongest attacks. They used their ultimate moves as if they were free. Every attack caused the stars to quiver and the world to shake. It was truly a heaven shaking battle. Seeing this, the disciples inside the academy all felt their blood heating up. Long Chen was their unbeatable god. His divine power seemed boundless, and his confidence and arrogance made them feel reverent. After three all-out clashes, Long Chen's arm was numb. He didn't know how many times his internal organs had been destroyed and healed, but he still wasn't afraid. Instead, his battle intent continued to pour out of him. Facing a powerful opponent only made him feel more excited. As for the nine underworld Liuacha, she was also injured. More blood was pouring out of her seven orifices. Furthermore, this blood was black. Cracks had even appeared on her forehead. Split the heavens. Long Chen once more raised his saber, causing the nine underworld Liuacha's expression to change. Long Chen's power seemed limitless. He was practically a monster. On the other hand, her Liuacha possession had already reached its limit. As her cultivation base wasn't high enough, she was still unable to fully merge with her Liuacha manifestation. She could only sacrifice her flesh to temporarily merge with it. However, this state could not be maintained for long. Once time was up, she wouldn't even be able to keep up her manifestation. If her manifestation was broken, her sacrificed flesh would never return, and that would be a fatal blow to her. So your life is tough. Once I finish merging with the Liuacha, I will come take your life. The nine underworld Liuacha snorted and suddenly formed hand seals. However, just then, Long Chen appeared in front of her and swung his saber, cutting off her hands. I knew that you wouldn't be able to beat me. You want to run? Leave your life behind first, sneered Long Chen. The huge saber image had appeared just then, but now he was suddenly attacking normally, with such speed, that it practically toppled people's understanding. It had to be known that normally, once an ultimate attack was brewing, it couldn't be pulled back. That would essentially be attacking themselves with their power. So, at this moment, Long Chen had completely gone against the common sense of the martial Tao. In truth, after three all-out attacks, he could clearly sense that she had reached her limit. That was why Long Chen had only acted out the fourth attack to scare her. Just as Long Chen expected, the nine underworld Liuacha didn't dare to fight him again. She was forming hand seals to flee, and she needed to gather her mental energy to escape from the lock of his saber. As a result of the distraction, she hadn't expected Long Chen to switch techniques and cut off her hands. Long Chen originally wanted to cut off her head, but such an attack would definitely be instantly sensed by her and might lead to failure. Thus, to be safe, he first cut off her hands, making it so that she couldn't form hand seals temporarily. Boop. After cutting off her hands, his saber struck like lightning, piercing toward her head. A divine shield appeared before her. The nine underworld Liuacha was terrified. The Liuacha manifestation behind her had vanished, condensing into a fist-sized shield in front of her head. 
Long Chen's sabre quivered, and that shield began to crack. Having lost her hands, the nine underworld Liuacha could only use her will to control her power. She was unable to concentrate all her energy. Feeling terrified, she cried out, Call Master, save me. Boom! That shield finally broke apart. Long Chen's saber pierced through it and her head. However, when he stabbed her head, he suddenly sensed something wrong. This wasn't the feeling of stabbing flesh. A substitution art. Long Chen was startled. He didn't have time to pull back his saber. So, a lightning spear appeared in his left hand, and he stabbed it downward to his left. Boop. As a result, the void collapsed, and the nine underworld Luachis figure reappeared. However, half her body was gone, and she let out a miserable shriek. Having lost the protection of her Luacha manifestation, she appeared incredibly weak. Die! Long Chen then swung that puppet that looked identical to the nine underworld Luacha off of his saber and swung his saber at her. Just then, a blood-colored dagger pierced through the air. A chilling, killing intent made Long Chen's back feel icy cold. Chapter 3000 468 World King Avatar Lyo Benkeng. When that attack appeared, Lyo Benkeng's figure instantly appeared in Long Chen's mind. Those experts of the netherworld were unable to stop him from coming to save the nine underworld Liuacha. His attack completely sealed any paths of retreat for Long Chen, so Long Chen could only receive it directly. If Long Chen wanted his life, he had to let off the nine underworld Luacha. Long Chen snorted coldly. Ignoring Lyo Bikang, he swung his saber at the nine underworld Luacha. That appearance of his was as though even if he died, he would definitely drag her along with him. Seeing this, Lyo Benkeng was shocked and enraged. He hadn't expected Long Chen to be so crazy as to sacrifice his own life to kill the nine underworld Luacha. It had to be known that the nine underworld Luacha's potential was limitless. Lord Brahma had set his sights on having her as the future hall master, so she could not be allowed to die. Nine underworld duplicate. In his panic, Lyo Benkang suddenly split his body in two. One continued to attack Long Chen, while the other appeared in front of the nine underworld Luacha. I knew it. Your true body couldn't possibly come here. You are nothing more than an avatar. Long Chen instantly relaxed when he saw Lyo Benking split his body. This avatar was condensed from faith energy. Although it was stronger than a divine clone, it was a far cry from the true body. Then I won't hold back. All of you can leave your lives behind today. Long Chen raised his head and laughed. Oh. A black lightning sword suddenly appeared in front of Lyo Benking, blocking his dagger. A maiden with black hair covered in lightning manifested. Lei Linger was wearing a black dress, and runes flickered in her black eyes. A wild aura came from her along with a wild destructive power. What? Even as the hall master, Lyo Benking was shocked. Even with all his experience, he was unable to believe that there was someone capable of controlling the power of heavenly tribulation. At the same time, Long Chen's saber slashed down on Lyo Benkang's other avatar. This avatar was blown back, but still managed to receive Long Chen's attack Navaloon. Calm, however, just as Lyo Benkang relaxed, a flame spear pierced through the nine underworld Liuach's body. Yuo Linger had also attacked. She then murmured something, and flames enveloped herself and the Nine Underworld Luacha. Ah! Uh, the Nine Underworld Luacha screamed in pain. Yuo Linger was using the fire of her soul to burn her enemy's soul. As the Nine Underworld Luacha's hands were stained with the blood of countless Nine Star heirs, Long Chen didn't want to kill her just like that. He wanted to burn her soul for eternity, letting her die only in endless pain. At the same time, he would like to investigate some of the nine underworld hall's secrets through her soul. Long Chen, you are courting death. 
Lyo Benkan was incensed. He hadn't expected Long Chen to have such terrifying trump cards. His two avatars moved, trying to merge back together. But Long Chen didn't give him a chance. He and Lei Linger both blocked one, not letting Lyo Benkan get close to the nine underworld Liuacha. Long Chen knew that Lyo Benkan was very powerful. Otherwise, it would have been impossible for him to escape under the attacks of five world kings. However, now that his avatar had split in two, his power was also halved. As long as Long Chen didn't let his avatars recombine, he was unable to threaten Long Chen. Huo Langer was chanting the Nirvana scripture. That was something that Long Chen had recently transmitted to her. Long Chen had tried to transmit it to her in the past, but for some reason she was unable to use the scripture. It was only after he had advanced to the Divine Lord realm that Huo Linger managed to control the Nirvana scripture. However, she was only able to use the first two volumes. As for the third and fourth volumes, it was unknown if it was because her power wasn't high enough, but she was unable to chant them, despite that she was an innate flame spirit. When she chanted this scripture, endless flame energy was summoned. She was a goddess of ten thousand flames at this moment. Ah, uh, as she was roasted by the flames, the nine underworld Liuacha continued to scream. She was bound by flame chains, and it felt like her soul was being torn apart. She couldn't stop screaming. At this moment, Imputa had also summoned his full power. Despite his large body, he was as agile as a monkey. Even while fighting five world kings, he was forcing them back repeatedly and moving toward Lyo Benkeng. Although he didn't like Lyo Benkeng, he also knew that the nine underworld Liuacha couldn't be allowed to die. He was also doing his best to help save her. On the other battlefield, it was originally Bai Zhanteng chasing Jia Yuo, but now Jia Yuo was the one trying to rush over here and being blocked by Bai Zhanteng. Due to Long Chen's battle with the Nine Underworld Liuacha, the core of the battlefield had shifted. The Academy's experts had originally been blocking enemies from all sides. But now that the Netherworld's army descended, they no longer needed to. As a result, all the Battle God Palace's experts charged at Jiel Yuo. Jiel Yuo was now being attacked by Bai Jante, Bai Shishi, Bai Zayol, by Zayol's mother, and by Shishi's mother. Bai Zhantang's face was pale. He had already lost his ghost Dao possession, but he still didn't want to retreat. Jiel Yuo was at full power now. The power that he had been conserving was now fully unleashed. It was not inferior to Bai Zhantang in his ghost Dao possession. However, with Bai Shishi present, her golden sword repeatedly launched sharp attacks. She became the main force, adding on the cooperation from her family, especially by Zyle's mother with her three flower pupils interfering with Jiel Yuo's attacks and setting by Shishi up perfectly. Jiel Yuo almost had his head cut off several times by by Shishi. Surrounded by this family, Jiel Yuo was unable to fight effectively. He was so furious that he cursed Bai Zhantang for using numbers to bully him. Bai Zhantang also cursed him, calling him trash, demanding why he was so fine with running away the entire time before. Just before, Jiel Yuo had been repeatedly running from him, making him unable to effectively unleash his power. Now that the tables had turned, it was Jiel Yuo who was unable to effectively unleash his power. Bai Zhantang was very pleased. Jiel Yuo, you bastard, you injured my mom. You made my grandpa suffer. I will wring off your head and place it here so I can feed you crap every single day. Bai Zhao clenched his teeth and rapidly formed hand seals. Now, his spatial energy was crazily unleashed. He was constantly interfering with Jiel Yuo's attacks. It was only after Bai Sayol had met Long Chen and activated the three flower pupils, giving him the ability to cultivate on his own, 
that his mother told him about this matter. She only told Bai Zhao so that he wouldn't hate his father. It had to be known that Bai Zhantang also felt great pain over it. When Bai Zhao learned that it was Jia Yuo that had caused everything, he wanted to tear Jia Yuo apart with his teeth while the latter was still alive. In this life, it was his first time hating someone like this. Zhao focus. Bai Zhao's mother suddenly cried out. In Bai Zhao's anger, the tempo of his techniques accelerated to the point that a gap gradually appeared in everyone else's cooperation. Jiel Yuo shot through an opening resulting from that, receiving Bai Shishi's attack with his sword and shooting away like a bolt of lightning away from their enclosure. Chit! Bai Zhantang's expression changed. Jiel Yuo was flying straight at Long Chen. Imputa had finally reached him as well. Long Chen was instantly surrounded by three powerful experts. Boss, watch out! Only now did Bai Zhao realize what kind of calamity he had caused. Chapter 3469 Lightning Radiance Destroys the World Long Chen Narrowed His Eyes. Seeing Jia Yuo coming toward him, he snorted. Lord Brahma's disciple, let's see just how much skill you have. Long Chen had just exchanged blows with Liao Binkeng when he extended his hand, and a lightning spear appeared in it. Furthermore, at this moment, Lei Linger vanished. World extermination lightning radiance. Boom. Long Chen, then, forced Liao Benking back with his saber and smashed this lightning sphere into the latter's body. As a result, Liao Benking's avatar crumbled, and a ripple of lightning tore through the void. Lei Linger reappeared with a lightning sword, attacking the other Liao Benking. The loss of one of his avatars shocked and enraged Liao Benkeng. Even now, he didn't know what had happened. Only the blink of an eye had passed between Long Chen circulating his thunder force, Lei Linger vanishing, his avatar being killed, and Lei Linger reappearing. In all his years, Liao Benkeng had never seen such a technique. What he didn't know was that Lei Linger was not a house bit but a companion that Long Chen could fully trust. Their minds were connected, and so their cooperation was seamless. With this move, one of Liao Benkang's avatars was killed. After the world extermination lightning radiance, Lei Linger's aura fell, but she still had 80% of her combat power, and that was enough to fight Liao Benkang's other avatar. With one opponent killed, Long Chen eyed Jiel Yuo, who was flying over. After taking a deep breath, his saber rumbled. He pointed it at the heavens and slashed it down. Split the heavens one. The saber image fell, but what no one had expected was for it to miss. It actually fell beside Jiel Yuo, startling people. Die. At this moment, Jiel Yuo's manifestation rumbled and was sucked inside his silver sword. The sword seemed to come to life, and brilliant sword light ignited the sky like a blazing star. This move is something I was preparing for Bai Jianteng. For it to be used on you, you can die in peace. Jiel Yuo's gaze was cold. He was turning all his anger on Long Chen, so this sword contained all his power. After missing, Long Chen once more raised his saber. Just then, the power of his previous attack was pulled back. When his saber once more pointed toward the heavens, the wind and clouds changed color. Endless power was crazily pulled toward Long Chen. As the power of Long Chen's 108,000 stars poured through 18 acupuncture points, sharp pain came from the acupuncture points. He was layering the power of his first attack on top of his second, as well as absorbing the power of heaven and earth. So, the current power of his saber had reached the limit of his body. If it was before, no matter how long Chen tried, he would be unable to cause such an effect. That was because the amount of energy that the heavens were willing to give him was too little. However, it was different this time. He had obtained the recognition of the integral heaven star field, 
and this place so he was able to absorb far more energy from heaven and earth the pain in his acupuncture points didn't disturb him though long chen grew even more excited this meant that as long as his body could endure it he could still absorb more energy from heaven and earth split the heavens too with a roar long chen unleashed all the power he had stored the first form and the second form layered on top of each other this attack contained the will to split the heavens it caused the world to change color and gods to shake this saber possessed a supreme divine might it was like a heavenly saber that would cut through all restrictions within this world the next moment a saber and a sword struck each other in a world-shaking collision two divine lights clashed emitting four streaks of light in the form of a giant cross as the earth was torn apart and the void was pierced fragments of space-time flew about four huge holes then spread around the two of them the four black holes were like four huge mouths trying to devour the world the experts in the academy panicked one of those holes was flying toward the academy in the end it only passed by them but the immense power still pierced the tottering barrier causing it to collapse the giant black hole crazily devoured everything and countless disciples found themselves being sucked over if they were devoured they would be crushed by the spatial blades by Zayol and his mother had no time to help long chen they hastily used their spatial arts to drag everyone back however the buildings of the academy were pulled and torn by the black hole the glorious academy was instantly turned to ruins after that the black hole slowly vanished as the laws of the world repaired themselves when the pulling power faded everything returned to calm big brother long chen Navaloon Kam Hua Linger cried out in shock. She was originally controlling the nine underworld Luacha and had just managed to see some fragmentary images in her soul when Imputa came. Hua Linger's body was then pierced by his dagger, and some strange power was injected into her, causing her to lose control of her body. At the next moment, the nine underworld Luacha fell into Imputa's hands. As for Long Chen, he had just exchanged blows with Jia Yuo. His body was covered in frightening cracks as if he would shatter. On the other side, Jia Yuo was coughing up blood. Even some of his shattered insides were spat out. Moreover, a crack had appeared on his forehead, and fresh blood poured out of it. It was as if his head was going to explode. Lord Brahma's disciple is only at this level. You can die. Long Chen shot toward Jia Yua once more. Although combining two saber attacks had used up almost all his energy, he was still fearless. He knew that Jia Yua was no better off. In a clash of experts, the attacker was the winner. Whoever first retreated had a higher chance of dying. Seeing Long Chen charging over so recklessly, Jia Yuo's heart pounded. He could clearly sense that he had the power to kill Long Chen, but a sensation of terror shook him. He was now a bit afraid. Long Chen was like a bottomless well of trump cards. Who knew how many he had? Despite his trump card being clearly stronger, Jia Yuo still felt uneasy. And Puda had saved the nine underworld Liuacha. Now runes flowed out of his hand and the nine underworld Liuacha vanished. It was unknown where he had sent her. After that, he shouted, We're just one step away. Dig out the foundation stone and we'll have one. Hearing that, Jile Yuo was revitalized. The academy's barrier was gone, and killing people was no longer important. As long as the foundation stone was excavated and the netherworld sky was injected into it, the seventh branch academy would be gone. Ha ha ha, leave that to me. Jail Yuo laughed and spread his hands. After that, a set of golden scaled armor appeared on his body. Runes flowed on top of it, emitting a terrifying pressure. That pressure caused Bai Jantang and the others' expressions to change. 
the aura of a divine venerate. Ha, 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 this is the treasure armor my master bestowed on me. With the blessing of the divine venerate, even a peak world king cannot harm me. Just watch as I destroy your academy. Gile Ewell laughed, and just like that, he charged toward the academy without the slightest scruple. The five world kings of the netherworld were the first to reach him. They all felt like they had lost face by not being able to stop in Pudo. Now their chance to win back some face had come, but before they could even get close to Gile Yuo, the divine light from his armor knocked them away with such force that they coughed up blood. At that moment, everyone despaired. This was an unrivaled armor, and no one could even approach him. Was the academy truly going to be destroyed? Just as Jael Yuo was laughing and reached the core of the academy, a dagger completely ignored that protective divine light and stabbed through his heart from his back. What? Enputa and Lyo Benking were completely shocked. They didn't dare to believe their eyes. Chapter 3470 Slaying Jael Yuo the dagger was pitch black, and gave off no aura at all. In fact, it practically couldn't be sensed in the slightest. There wasn't sharp air or anything coming from it, but it had pierced through Jael Yuo's golden armor and stabbed him through the heart. The golden armor's light was so powerful that let alone getting through it, even touching it was impossible. Even world kings were sent flying by the pressure that belonged to a divine venerate. However, in front of that black dagger, it was as if the armor had lost all its power. That dagger instantly pierced through it, and its golden light slowly faded. At the same time, Jael Yuo's body darkened as if he had been cursed. His life energy rapidly withered, just like when Long Chen was stabbed by the sword tip. At that time, Long Chen had exhausted almost all of the primal, Chaos Space's life energy just to keep himself alive. Now it was Jael Yuo's turn. His cultivation base was completely sealed by this power, so he was unable to summon a single trace of energy. Everyone's jaw dropped. They looked at Long Chen, who was standing behind Jael Yuo and appeared completely apathetic. Lord Brahma's disciple is only at this level. Now, do you still doubt my words? Long Chen looked at Jael Yuo indifferently as the latter's life energy rapidly dissipated. No one knew how terrifying this dagger was better than Long Chen. He didn't want to experience being stabbed by it a second time. Jael Yuo also realized that his intuition back then had not been wrong. When Long Chen charged at him, Long Chen had clearly been exhausted, but Jael Yuo was the one to feel like death was approaching. His intuition had told him to immediately flee, but he had actually thought that it was a misperception. Now he realized that it was correct. Don't kill me. Jael Yuo was pale and absolutely terrified. At this moment, his life was in Long Chen's hands. Seeing Jael Yuo in this predicament, Lyo Benkang roared, Long Chen, release Jael Yuo. He is divine venerate Brahma's disciple and a descendant of the Asura race. He has the blood of the Asura race. If you kill him, the divine venerate and the Asura race will descend. All of you will die miserable deaths. Idiot. In Puda's expression suddenly changed. This fellow's head really was filled with crap. He actually threatened Long Chen at such a time. As expected, after Lyo Ben Kang said this, Long Chen thrust a hand of lightning through Jael Yuo's head. The bolt of lightning pierced his head, causing his body to stiffen before slowly limply falling to the ground, the fire of his soul extinguished. With Jael Yuo's cultivation base, he should have had a chance to escape with at least his Yuan spirit. But the attack that he had been struck by was no ordinary attack. The dagger had a terrifying power that also sealed the soul within the body so that when the body died, so did the soul. As for Imputa and Lyo Benking, when they saw that his Yuan spirit didn't flee, 
they thought that he was unwilling to abandon his physical body and simply wanted to first negotiate with Long Chen. They were unaware that it wasn't that he was unwilling, but that he was unable to. Jiel Yuo's corpse fell to the ground. The sound wasn't loud, but on this silent battlefield it shook people's hearts like thunder. A terrifying genius that had made his name famous countless years ago, a divine venerate's disciple, a figure with countless honors to his name, a terrifying existence countless people looked up to, had died just like this. Lord Brahma, the Asura race, we'll all die miserably. Who cares? Dead is dead. From the moment I set foot into the cultivation world, my life was no longer what was important. What matters is that if I am to live, I must live with dignity. If I cannot do that, then I would rather choose to die in a brilliant fire. You might not know this, but I, Long Chen, do not submit to any threats. Since you want my life, you must be prepared to endure my wrath. Long Chen slowly pulled out the dagger and turned toward Impuda and Lyo Benking. Their expressions were twisted with fury. Long Chen. Lyo Benking let out a furious roar, and even his hair stood on end. He was going crazy with rage. Jiel Yua was Lord Brahma's disciple, so his status was special. For him to die, they had truly provoked a huge calamity. Lyo Benkang's power fully erupted. With a single step, he instantly appeared in front of Long Chen. As a result, he had just moved when everyone else, who had long since stored up power, attacked at the same time. Bai Zhantang, Bai Shishi, the battle god palace's experts, as well as the five world kings from the netherworld all attacked at once. With so many experts striking him at the same time, Lyo Benking didn't even have a chance to do anything before his avatar was directly killed. After killing Lyo Benking, everyone turned to Ipuda, only to find that he had long since vanished. No need to search. That crafty fellow merely used that idiot Lyo Benking. And Pewter ran after using him to draw attention. Long Chen waved his hand, indicating to them not to search. Jia Liuo was dead. The Nine Underworld Liuacha was half dead after being tormented. Liao Ben Kang's avatar was destroyed, and countless devil experts, deep sea fiend devils, and devil eye water lilies had been exterminated. Although Impuda had fled, it was still a victory for Long Chen. Dean. The invasion of the Nether Kai is starting to corrode the foundation stone, reminded Heaven Master Yun Yang nervously. When the barrier was broken, a foundation stone was injured. In its weakest state, it was easy for the Nether Kai to infect it. If the foundation stone was infected with too much of that Nether Kai, it would be destroyed. Before Long Chan could say anything, the World King from the Netherworld said, Master Long Chen, it is our fault for being trash. We weren't able to help. If the Heavenly King learns of this, we. He sighed with shame. I beg Master Long Chen to forgive us. He was already waving for his people to return to the netherworld, gathering their corpses as well for fear of those corpses infecting the immortal spiritual Kai here. How can you say that? If it wasn't for you coming... My High Firmament Academy would have taken horrendous losses. You've helped me out immensely. I won't say any courteous words. I will remember this favor, and when we have a chance in the future, let us drink and chat. Long Chen cupped his fists toward him. Those world kings were delighted by his words. They waved goodbye and left the immortal world. After that, the spatial channel quickly closed. And Puta's move this time was truly sinister. This channel could only be repaired from the netherworld. Fortunately, it was the Heavenly King's people who came, or the Seventh Branch Academy would have been destroyed. Oh, where is Jael Yuo's corpse? Baizayol suddenly cried out. Only then did everyone notice that Jael Yuo's corpse was gone. What? You hate him so much that you want to defile even his corpse. 
Long Chen laughed, eliciting smiles from the others. Just before Imputa left, he took Jael Yuo's corpse. Although Baizayol hated Jael Yuo, now that the latter was dead, he really wasn't interested in playing with his corpse. First, repair the foundation stone and the transportation formation. We need to beg for aid from the main academy. Fuck! We'll need to continue rebuilding the seventh branch academy. Looking at the wreckage around him, Long Chen's heart was dripping blood. Send a message to Shen Wenlong. This time, I'm going to create the strongest branch academy. Chapter 3471 The Man in the Shadows in Puda, Fuck Your Mother. Within a palace, Lyo Benkang was furiously roaring at Imputa. You rat bastard, you tricked me into charging forward while you hid like a little turtle. I will not let you off this time. Imputa tossed Jael Yu's corpse to the ground. He coldly asked, When did I make you charge forward? Fuck you refused to admit it. You were the one who clearly said to kill Long Chen at the end. Curse Lyo Benkang, practically jumping with fury. I was saying that killing Long Chen is impossible, so we should run. You didn't let me finish talking before you charged out. Who can you blame for that? Imputa snorted coldly. Lyo Benking almost coughed up blood. Imputa had clearly caught him at the end, costing him his avatars, while Imputa escaped safe and sound. It had to be known that his avatars were condensed out of a huge amount of faith energy. They contained all the faith energy concentrated over millions of years from two of his divine statues. In order to increase the power of their avatar, they had each condensed two and sent them to the vile dragon domain. After that, both of his avatars were slain, while Imputa still had his two avatars intact. Thinking carefully, other than some fallen followers, Imputa hadn't suffered any losses this time. As for himself, he hadn't just lost two avatars, the rank one heaven fiend, the nine underworld Luacha, had almost died today. His fury soared just thinking about it. Don't talk about useless things. Jael Yuo is dead, and there's definitely no way to cover this up. We must inform the Divine Venerate, said Impuda, looking at Jael Yuo's corpse gravely. What are you so afraid of? The Divine Venerate has three thousand disciples, and Jael Yuo is just one of them. Moreover, the Divine Venerate is still in seclusion and is at a critical juncture. We cannot disturb him. We can only temporarily keep this matter to ourselves, said Lyo Benking coldly. All right. I recorded you saying that with a photographic jade. Impudent nodded. Who? Oh. Lyo Benking didn't hold back and unleashed a kick at Impuda. Impuda had once more conned him. If Lord Brahma did ask about this in the future, Impuda would push all the blame onto him. Impuda seemed to have long since expected Lyo Benking's reaction and easily dodged his attack. He coldly said, You stupid idiot, this seamless plan was ruined because of your foolish interference. You refuse to accept responsibility. Fuck your mother, it was clearly your plan that was trash. If you had launched the second attack on the barrier, it definitely would have broken. But you just had to act smart and open a portal to the netherworld. But you ended up drawing the wolves in, resulting in failure, roared Lyo Benking. You're really stupid. If you wanted to save the Nine Underworld Luacha, you had so many methods, but you just had to pick the most foolish one. If you hadn't split your avatars, resulting in your power dropping, we also wouldn't have been defeated. If you had power like me, then with myself, you and Jael Yuo joining forces who could stop us. As long as the foundation stone was exposed and Nether Kai was injected into it, it would only take a few breaths' time for it to rot. If it weren't for you, the plan wouldn't have failed and Jael Yuo wouldn't have died. At that time, you even threatened Long Chen. Do you know just how stupid you are? I haven't bothered to quibble with you for so many, 
years not because i'm afraid of you but because i don't want to waste my time arguing with a pig starting today my bloodkill hall has nothing to do with your nine underworld hall our cooperation started because of jail uo and it ends with jail uo let me tell you just one last thing fuck your mother you stupid pig even the calm imputed grew angrier and angrier as he talked until he directly broke out into curses although imputed knew how to endure it didn't matter how high his cultivation base was his endurance still had a limit he still exploded in the end i'll kill you lio benking roared and divine light ignited around him as a result the palace they were in exploded and huge flames spurted into the clouds idiot do you think i'm afraid of you i just can't be bothered with you you caused jael yuo's death so just wait to endure the divine venerate's wrath i'm not playing with you any more imputa then left with jael yuo's corpse imputa lio benkeng a grand and mighty world king actually coughed up blood from anger activate the luacha divine pool after venting his anger lio benkeng gradually calmed down he shouted into the air as he started to feel a sense of danger jael yuo had died while imputa was a treacherous schemer who would push the blame onto him if he couldn't kill long chen he would be unable to give an explanation to lord brahma at this moment the nine underworld Liuacha was lying in a blood-colored pool there were countless ancient statues surrounding the pool and fresh blood was flowing out of their mouths slowly dripping into the blood pool the entire scene was frighteningly dark my true body is unable to cross heavens and an avatar's power is limited i can only place my hopes on you nine underworld Liuacha, when you fully merge with the Liuacha essence blood you will be able to summon the full Yuacha possession. In Puda, you despicable little person, just wait. Sooner or later, I will have the nine underworld Yuacha kill you. Lio Benking muttered to himself as he stared at the nine underworld Yuacha lying in the blood pool. In Puda was within his own divine palace, his expression gloomy. That idiotic donkey he never accomplishes anything and only ruins my affairs i really want to kill him master who could make you so angry apprentice is very shocked a figure silently walked out of a shadow in the corner of the room it was a fair-faced man whose voice was soft and reserved the curious thing was that his eyes were simply black they were like a bottomless pool just looking at him made people shiver even the way he walked was strange it was like he had no pattern at all as he walked his body was changing like a shadow or reflection imputa's fury evaporated when he saw this young and soft man he smiled the seventh heaven stage that bet you have suppressed your realm very well good child with you present i feel much more at ease master who are you angry with asked that man of course it's that giant idiot lio benking i almost died of anger because of him how can that fellow be called an assassin that's practically an insult to us moreover he ruined everything this time he's definitely the dumbest person i've encountered in this life i don't even understand why the divine venerate gave him such an important position said imputa irritably why doesn't disciple go out to help settle your worries i will eliminate that long chen no you still can't be exposed your target is the shadow sect not long chen let the nine underworld luacha deal with long chen that idiot he'll definitely personally help her recover he's probably helping her merge with the luacha blood so that she can summon the full luacha possession he will deal with long chen and the academy but you have a more important mission some news has recently leaked about a terrifying figure emerging from the shadow sect and they are viewed very highly by yiwa sheng they might be your strongest opponent in the future said imputa solemnly what is their name 
Don Mingio, Chapter 3472 Preparing to leave it didn't matter what kind of storm came, the sun would always rise the next day. That warm and peaceful light seemed to be the greatest medicine for everyone. Sunlight was called the blessing of the heavens. It was a selfless gift. As long as you wanted it, you could have it. Long Chen lay on a barren hill. Ignoring the dust on the ground, he languidly soaked in the sun. Long Chen, you really are the same as on the martial heaven continent. Fortunately, the immortal world is big enough, otherwise there might not be enough for you to play with. Chen Wen Long sat down beside Long Chen, sighing emotionally. He felt like the celebration of the Seventh Branch Academy's reconstruction had just happened yesterday. So when he saw the wreckage, he almost didn't dare to believe his eyes. Life exists in playing around. If I didn't play around, it would be a waste of life. It's just like your business. Aren't you playing around with making money? But this time, don't worry, I have as much money and treasures as you need. You just need to help me gather everything. Long Chen still had his eyes closed and was enjoying the sun. The crisis at the Seventh Branch Academy had been settled. The Devil Sea had calmed. The passage to the Devil World was gone, and the gate to the Undying World was also closed. The heavenly swell domain had returned to its normal appearance. It was now a clear day after the storm. Although rebuilding the Seventh Branch Academy would take quite a bit of manpower and materials, Long Chen wasn't lacking money. All right, then, let's continue playing around. I really must thank you. Quite a few powers inside the integral heavens Starfield have reached out to us to purchase vast quantities of medicinal pills. Furthermore, all that business is counted as mine. My authority is also rising within the Huayan Trading Company. You don't need to worry about the Academy's reconstruction, said Zheng Wenlong. Long Chen nodded. After a moment's thought, he handed Zheng Wenlong all the wood foundation divine fruit. Zheng Wenlong jumped in shock. These wood foundation divine fruit went from the second generation all the way to the ninth generation. There was no way to calculate their value. With this, Zheng Wenlong also knew where the problem lay. He was moved. Long Chen had essentially shared a heaven-shaking secret with him by giving him this fruit. Zheng Wenlong put the fruit away and immediately set off. Once he was gone, Long Chen continued to lie on the ground. He grew leisure and leisure as he basked in the sunlight until he actually fell asleep. Suddenly, Long Chen smiled. He didn't open his eyes, but he could smell a nice fragrance. He already knew who had come. It's good for people to soak in some sunlight. Are you afraid of tanning? Long Chen opened one eye and saw Bai Shishi sitting beside him under a paper parasol. Today's Bai Shishi was wearing a rare white dress. She looked like a hibiscus just breaking out of the water, holy and sacred. There was a natural beauty within that simplicity. You're already dark enough. Whether or not you tan, it makes no difference. I just don't like the sunlight. Bai Shishi took out an elegant beast hide pad for herself to sit on. She didn't just lay on the dirty ground like Long Chen. Sunlight is the most selfless thing. She is never stingy with her warmth. However, no matter how bright the sunlight is, it cannot shine on the shadows in the dark. Sometimes we must be the ones to change our angle and allow the sunlight to enter Aya. Long Chen suddenly felt a sharp pain in his waist. Are you cursing me for having a dark inside? Bai Shishi glared at him. What? Well, can you be a bit reasonable? I was talking about us. It's not like I directly pointed at you, said Long Chen, irritably aggrieved. Seeing his angry state, Bai Shishi suddenly chuckled. Her pearly white teeth were revealed, making her appear even more beautiful. Long Chen's heart was moved. Bai Shishi was already very beautiful, but this laugh made even Long Chen's previous vexation vanish in an instant. 
beauty could easily make a person forget all their vexations. Long Chen hastily turned his face away from her. My Shishi couldn't help asking, did you get a guilty conscience? What guilty conscience? Don't use your beauty to seduce me. Let me tell you, boss, San won't fall for the carrot or stick, but I will fall for this, said Long Chen. Bai Shi Shi laughed. He had sounded so righteous until he exposed his true character at the end. Furthermore, he exposed it so frankly. Using beauty to seduce someone? That was far beneath Bai Shi Shi, but Long Chen somehow made it sound as if he was praising her beauty. Although Bai Shi Shi was naturally beautiful, she didn't particularly care about other people's praise toward her looks. It was only Long Chen's praise that she liked to hear. Do you know? I'm a bit angry, said Bai Shi Shi. What are you angry about? Can you have some? Ah, uh, nothing. Long Chen was about to ask if she could have some common sense, as she had been the one to pinch him, so why would she be the angry one? But that seemed to be a bit rude, so he swallowed those words. Of course I'm angry. You're so powerful, but you didn't tell me. When I think about how I, ub, I want to die from embarrassment. You're a swindler. By she she turned red. She thought of how she had held his hand before and said that even when she was stronger than him, she would do her best to listen to him. Just thinking about it vexed and embarrassed her. It was a sickening feeling. Back then, she had just passed through her tribulation and started to merge with the inheritance of the Master of the Golden Sword. Her power had risen to a level she herself had never dared to imagine. Hence, she had thought that, in the future, she would far surpass Long Chen. In order to avoid Long Chen feeling bad, she had intentionally said those words. She hadn't expected that, in this battle, Long Chen would reveal an even more terrifying combat power. In the end, he even slew Jiao Yuo, shocking everyone. That, TCH, what is so great about that? I really am not as strong as you. When I killed Jael Yuo at the end, it was only because of that divine weapon. If you had that divine weapon, you also could have killed Jael Yuo, said Long Chen indifferently. Long Chen, what kind of divine weapon is that? Can you show it to me? asked Bai Shishi curiously. Of course, but you cannot touch its edge. Long Chen looked around, and seeing no one else, he carefully took out the dagger. Why is this seemingly ordinary dagger so amazing? Bai Shishi examined it for a long time without noticing anything extraordinary about it. She then returned it to Long Chen. Long Chen put it away and told her how he had found it, almost dying in the process. Long Chen also didn't know the origin of this dagger, but he knew that it was the most terrifying divine weapon that he had encountered up to now. Jael Yuo's armor had a divine venerate's blessing, and an ordinary world king was unable to even approach him in that state. But this dagger had completely ignored that armor. It could be seen just how terrifying it was. Long Chen, what are you thinking of doing next? Asked Bai Shishi. Once the academy is repaired, I might be leaving the dark light heaven. I need to do something important. An image of a mirror appeared in Long Chen's mind. Long Chen then saw countless spots of light within the mirror, and they had auras just like his. Favorite. Chapter 3473 Mysterious Mirror You're Bowing to Leave. By Shi Shi was startled. Long Chen wasn't just planning on leaving the academy, but also the entire dark light heaven. Long Chen nodded. This time, although he hadn't killed the Nine Underworld Yuacha, he had gained a great deal from her. Through the burning soul refinement, Huo Linger had obtained this image of a mirror from her memories. That mirror reflected the Nine Heavens and Ten Lands. The specks of light flashing within it had the auras of Nine Star Airs. Based on Long Chen's guess, this mirror was a divine item used for probing where the Nine Star Airs were. It was like a pair of eyes overlooking the nine heavens, 
and ten lands. It was no wonder that nine star heirs were discovered so easily. This time, Long Chen had found the position of the mirror and was preparing to destroy it. That way, the nine star heirs would be able to grow in peace. However, this time, it would be very dangerous. The heaven that he was going to was called the Violet Flame Heaven. The Violet Flame Heaven was said to be one of the three most intact heavens from that ancient desolate battle. Countless powerful sect inheritances existed, and they were almost all within those three heavens. Compared to the Violet Flame Heaven, the Dark Light Heaven was a pile of ruins. Long Chen also noticed another problem. Despite his fame spreading far and wide up to now, he had only found Kin Feng and Kai Yu. He still had no information on the others. That meant that the dragon-blood warriors were mostly not within the Dark Light Heaven. If he wanted to gather the dragon-blood legion again, he had to leave this place. Then we can go together? Probed by Shishi. Long Chen shook his head. If we both go, who will guard the seventh branch academy? I am going to leave by myself. You can leave the academy to the main academy, said by Shishi hastily. Shishi, listen to me. Long Chen suddenly held by Shishi's hands. He solemnly said, Our high firmament academy has many aspects that even you don't know about. Before this, the elders carried our burden. Now that we've grown up, we have to learn how to lift that burden. We should take as much responsibility for ourselves as possible. The Academy isn't having such an easy time because of it. Once I leave, this place will be entrusted to you. I hope that you can protect everything of mine that is here. Properly cultivate and raise your power so that you can help me in the future. By Shishi's heart warmed with Long Chen holding her hands. But for Long Chen to leave on his own, she was still unwilling. Her eyes reddened. How long will it take? Bai Shishi bit her cherry lip. Seeing her in this state, Long Chen also felt a current of warmth in his heart. This stubborn girl had managed to make him unwilling to part with her. It won't take long. Have you forgotten? Our High Firmament Academy has branches spread throughout the Nine Heavens and Ten Lands. Once I go there, I will find the ruins of another branch academy, and then we can be together once more. I believe that at that time, you will have fully mastered the inheritance of that senior. I'll rely on you to protect me in the future, said Long Chen with a smile. Only then did Bai Shishi also smile. She was a bit gratified, and she even felt a bit bad about her sentimentality. There was no choice but to say that when women were drawn into the whirlpool of romance, intelligence went out the window. She believed whatever Long Chen said without overthinking it. Bai Shishi's smile was like a flower, and Long Chen was struck dumb by it. He couldn't help sighing, your smile is so beautiful. It would be nice if you could smile more frequently. I will only smile for you, not for others, said Bai Shishi, still smiling. To have the favor of the High Firmament Academy's number one beauty is the blessing of several lifetimes. Speaking of which, where did that fellow Zhu Changchun go? When Long Chen thought of the Academy's number one beauty, he also thought of the old number one handsome man, Zhu Changchun. Bai Shishi shook her head. Ever since the Nine Prefecture Convention, he has vanished. He has never appeared again or sent back any word. Last time, he said that something popped up in his family and he needed to go back. And then there's been nothing. Long Chen found it curious. Although they had started with some disagreement, later they had gotten to know each other better. Long Chen didn't dislike his character. After Long Chen had privately taught him how to pick up girls, they had settled their misunderstandings. So, for him to suddenly vanish was a bit sudden. That fellow comes from an area forbidden to life, which conceals the heaven-shaking secret. They are very mysterious. When he came to the academy and revealed his status, he shook the entire academy. 
but that overbearing show-off style of his was dislikable, so I found him annoying, said by Shishi. Although Zhu Changchuan was very handsome, he had an overbearing pride in his bones. That pride was something that Bai Shishi also had. Thus, when he said that he wished to pursue Bai Shishi, he had already missed his chance. Just how prideful was Bai Shishi? Two of them had instantly ended up at odds, and both their sharp lights opposed each other. It wasn't wooing but fighting, seeing who could subdue the other. It was very childish. Thus, no matter what kind of sincerity Zhu Changchun had taken out, it was considered a provocation in Bai Shishi's eyes, and she disliked him. There was even one time when she had been so enraged that she almost tried to kill him. If it hadn't been for her mother stopping her, perhaps she really would have killed him. However, ever since Long Chen appeared, Bai Shishi was influenced quite a bit. This fellow who never acted according to common sense always caught people off guard. Long Chen was truly a mysterious existence that made her curious. She couldn't help wanting to see through him. However, the closer she got to Long Chen, the more she found him mysterious. Sometimes he was warm, sometimes he was domineering. Sometimes he was as crafty as a fox, sometimes he was as fierce as a tiger. Sometimes he was a wise sage, but sometimes he became an idiot who caused a mess. To sum it up, she was unable to tell just what kind of person he was. But as she stared at him, without being aware of it, she was drawn to him. By the time she sensed the danger, she was unable to extricate herself. Furthermore, the longer she knew him, the more she felt herself maturing as well. She saw problems clearer. Thus, when she compared Long Chen and Zhu Changchun, the latter seemed to be an immature child. It was also due to this that she no longer found Zhu Changchun so detestable. Now that Long Chen mentioned Zhu Changchun, by she she also grew curious. It couldn't be that due to his failure, knowing that he was to match for Long Chen, this fellow dejectedly ran away right. But she couldn't say such a thing out loud. On the other hand, Long Chen felt that Zhu Changchun's disappearance didn't quite make sense. But as for the exact situation, perhaps only Zhu Changchun himself knew. The area forbidden to life, a region that others couldn't touch. Everything inside was secret. Zhu Changchun himself had never divulged anything about it to others. Thus, he himself was also a mystery. Chapter 3474 Consuming the Violet Tower Pill Half a month later, the Seventh Branch Academy was rebuilt. All the materials that went into it were top grade. Long Chen had spent a full ten million Immortal King crystals to create a Seventh Branch Academy that was a war fortress. Other than not being able to move, it had almost no weaknesses. An attack like the last one was unable to shake this academy. However, Long Chen also knew that the just defeated in Puda and Liao Benkeng wouldn't be returning any time soon. They knew that Long Chen wouldn't give them that chance. Furthermore, they had taken heavy losses this time. Liao Benkeng had lost two avatars, which signified that his divine energy was no longer able to descend upon the dark light heaven. During the time that the Seventh Branch Academy was being built, Long Chen proposed to Bai Zhantang to directly wipe out the Nine Underworld Hall and the Bloodkill Hall. Bai Zhantang instantly agreed. However, when they arrived at the various Bloodkill Halls and Nine Underworld Halls spread throughout the major domains, they found that the people there had long since vanished. Bai Zhantang was so enraged that he directly smashed apart their palaces. Clearly, Inputa and Liao Benking had also known that the High Firmament Academy would counterattack. In order to conserve their forces, they had their believers hide themselves. Even as their palaces were smashed apart, even as their divine statues were broken, the Nine Underworld Hall and the Bloodkill Hall didn't show themselves. Without those as a foundation, they wouldn't dare to reveal themselves in the near future either. You're going to the violet flame heaven. 
Have you thought this through? Asked the sweeping elder. I suppose I haven't really thought it through. The main thing is that there is nothing to think about. Long Chen shook his head with embarrassment. He had no plan or ideas for the violet flame heaven. He knew nothing about it. Moreover, planning wasn't his style. Planning wasn't as fast as taking action, so he couldn't be bothered. The violet flame heaven has ten thousand races standing tall, and experts are as common as ants. Heavenly geniuses are so numerous that they are like grains of sand in a river. Going to take a look there is good, too. The sweeping elder nodded. The seventh branch academy is already rebuilt, and everything is settled appropriately. I came to ask for some pointers to see if you have anything I should pay attention to, said Long Chen. As his cultivation base grew, Long Chen found that this elder was growing increasingly unfathomable. The Rainbow Crane race had long lifespans, but this elder had sent off several generations of them. This was definitely a true living fossil. Listening to this elder definitely wasn't bad. There is nothing in particular. For youngsters to suffer a bit isn't a bad thing. They only learn their lessons that way. If you slam into many nails, either you learn to get out of the way or you grow an iron armor, said the elder with a smile. Long Chen also smiled. Senior is laughing at me. Does Senior think that I am so hot-headed and don't learn my lessons? Long Chen was precisely the kind of person to smash into a wall over and over again without looking back, smashing himself into it until he finally broke through. Sometimes when he was calm, he would also feel himself to be very foolish. But it was truly rare for him to be so cool-headed. If he was always cool-headed, he wouldn't be Long Chen. That is just your character. It can't be called bad, but it also can't be called good. Every person pursues their own things. Since people have different goals, they have different attitudes toward life. Such a thing cannot be judged. The violet flame heaven is a good place. But a good place also has even crueler competition. Things appear in order on the surface, but that peace covers up the wild undercurrents beneath. Within the violet flame heaven are the ruins of the 36th branch, the 47th branch, and others. There are seven branch ruins in total. As long as our main academy remains, the foundation stones are in a deep slumber and cannot be broken. If you can activate a branch academy, our high firmament academy's power will be able to descend upon the violet flame heaven. However, you have to know that the reason that you could take back the Seventh Branch Academy is because the other side had abandoned the dark light heaven. They have now sealed off the others. It will be very difficult for something like this Seventh Branch Academy's incident to occur again. Don't get greedy for premature success, said the sweeping elder. Long Chen nodded. Taking back the Seventh Branch Academy had mostly been thanks to luck, while the other aspect was that the other side simply hadn't placed him in their eyes. After all, at that time, he had only been in the Four Peak Realm. The other thing was that the struggle for the heavenly rainbow flame had drawn the other side's attention, and that was what had given Long Chen his chance. Despite that, it had taken Long Chen a great deal of effort to take back the Seventh Branch Academy. After suffering that loss, the other side definitely wouldn't be so careless again. Senior, don't worry. This time I will definitely be careful. Do you have any other pointers for this little one? Asked Long Chen. No. The sweeping elder shook his head. Long Chen bowed to the elder and left. Originally, he was thinking of going to see the Rainbow Crane race, but thinking of how Little Crane was probably still sleeping from using up so much energy to expel the Death Kai last time, he chose not to disturb her. The sweeping elder hadn't given him much advice. That actually made Long Chen feel even steadier. And back in the Seventh Branch Academy, everything was almost ready. 
Long Chen searched through all the wealth from the integral heaven star field. He tossed them into the various treasuries. In the future, the Seventh Branch Academy's disciples could exchange points for those treasures. The main resources were medicinal pills. There was a veritable ocean's worth of medicinal pills. Even if Long Chen shared them with the main academy, they wouldn't be used up without at least a few centuries. So, it could be said that the Seventh Branch Academy's financial power was terrifying. After devouring so many corpses, the primal chaos spaces wood foundation divine trees had exploded in growth, reaching a tremendous height. Their enormous life energy was like a sea. Last time, in battle, Long Chen clearly felt just how powerful their life energy was. As long as they were present, Long Chen possessed a kind of undying body. But suddenly, his body shook intensely, and a wild power exploded within him. It was like hundreds of volcanoes were erupting at the same time within him. Long Chen had just consumed a violet tower pill. Despite being mentally prepared and even summoning the divine ring and battle armor, the immense power was still like wild horses refusing to listen to orders. Those horses were running rampant throughout his body. They seemed to have their own spirits and didn't want to be devoured. They were doing their best to resist. Long Chen tried to control them, but he was unable to force them to that spot right below his dungeon. They also seemed to know that they would be devoured if they entered that place, so they resisted with all their power. Wu Long Chen suppressed the medicinal energy with all his power. Just as he was about to force it to the position of the violet tower star, the medicinal energy exploded, transforming into trillions of droplets that fled to the star diagram in his dungeon. This, Long Chen suddenly had a thought. When that medicinal energy scattered, it merged into the 108,000 stars, trying to use them to conceal themselves. Long Chen immediately activated his astral power. After being scattered, the medicinal energy instantly lost the ability to resist. Long Chen was about to send that medicinal energy toward the position of the Violet Tower star when the Fang Fu star suddenly shook. Without giving Long Chen a chance to react, it was like a black hole cleanly devouring all of the medicinal energy. This path was opened by me. Pay my toll if you want to pass. Navaloon Kam Long Chen was dumbfounded. The medicinal energy that was supposed to be used to condense the violet tower pill had been entirely consumed by the Feng Fu star. Could it be? Just then, something that dumbfounded Long Chen occur. Chapter 3470 Five stepping onto a new journey, the Feng Fu star had absorbed all the medicinal energy spread throughout the 108,000 stars. It then cracked, and a layer of violet spots appeared on top of the Feng Fu star. Following that, it returned to calm. This tribulation pill's vast energy only caused a few spots to appear on the Feng Fu star, and that was it. Last time, when Long Chen condensed the Nethergate star, although the energy of the pills was also absorbed by the other five stars, such a thing had never occurred. Now, all the energy of the medicinal pill was fully absorbed by the Feng Fu star. The other stars didn't even get a trace of it. Moreover, no energy was used on condensing the actual Violet Tower star. It was still non-existent. Long Chen then swallowed another pill. With his experience from last time, he didn't suppress it. As a result, the 108,000 stars shook, and the medicinal energy was naturally drawn inside them. Just like last time, the Feng Fu star was like a whale sucking in water, absorbing all of that energy without giving a drop to the other stars. Another few violet spots appeared on the Feng Fu star, and Long Chen devoured close to a hundred pills just like that. The Feng Fu star was covered in violet spots, but Long Chen wasn't able to sense any change in himself at all. Long Chen sighed dispiritedly. 
although he had known that condensing the violet tower star would use quite a few medicinal pills he hadn't expected a hundred of them to be consumed without even causing a ripple long chen clenched his teeth and continued consuming them two hundred five hundred one thousand all the three thousand violet tower pills that he had were fully consumed now the feng fu star was covered in dense spots the star that was originally a white blaze had now become violet the violet light was beautiful and mesmerizing just looking at it drew him into a fantasy land as it slowly circulated long chen suddenly sensed that violet spots had appeared in his blood as well at some point long chen suddenly unleashed a punch there was no gust of wind but the entire room shuddered and countless defensive runes lit up that was the reaction of the room being under immense pressure this power long chen's heart shook the power of his blood kai hadn't changed but it seemed that a new power had appeared in his body this power was something that he had never encountered before he was unable to tell what it was but it seemed to have great destructive power toward the laws of the world as for the violet spots in his blood they seemed to have silently transformed his body but he wasn't able to control them the nine star master managed to beat the ghost sovereign his cultivation technique is definitely unrivaled whatever all i can do is follow my path long chen clenched his teeth and tried to comfort himself he knew that the slower the progress the greater the violet tower star must be but he was truly afraid of the number of medicinal pills that he needed he was unable to endure the expense he had only refined three thousand pills with all his ingredients he had as many plant ingredients as he wanted but when it came to the ingredients from demonic beasts and spirit beasts it was difficult to obtain them in the quantities that he required although zheng wenlong had told long chen that he would help him gather them according to zheng wenlong's estimate the quantity of the ingredients would not surpass the last time Navalun Khan the dark light heavens few major star fields only had so many resources also the ingredients that long chen required were rather rare some of them were very difficult to find in other words when zheng wenlong once more sent long chen new ingredients he would only be able to use them to refine another three thousand violet tower pills that was far too little compared to the amount that he needed it wasn't that zheng wenlong was ineffective but that the ingredients could not be produced by the dark light heaven that was why they were so sparse however long chen wasn't worried he was about to go to the violet flame heaven as long as he had money he definitely wouldn't be lacking resources after he finished consuming the medicinal pills he calmed himself entering an empty mind state he carefully sensed the violet spots in his body and experienced their changes he immersed his mind inside one of those spots magnifying it by a thousand times after that long chen was shocked to find that these spots had egg-like entities inside they seemed like irregular eggs there was some mysterious energy slumbering inside these eggs but that energy wasn't something that he could estimate with his soul it was very mysterious these slumbering eggs made long chen's blood grow more active as for the true dragon essence blood it didn't reject them the two were not just getting along but the dragon blood was also seemingly very active because of it the nine star hegemon body arts power was unimaginable long chen was unable to understand and so he didn't bother wasting the effort to try those violet spots seemed to be transforming his body in some way although he was unable to tell how exactly his body was being transformed he believed that it would only make him stronger i'll have to quicken the pace looking at the empty spot that belonged to the violet tower star as well as the five stars that hadn't even reacted at all he sighed they were like hungry wolves waiting for their turn he could see 
that condensing the violet tower star would require satisfying the other six stars first. Otherwise, the medicinal energy wouldn't go toward the violet tower star. In his battle against the nine underworld Yuacha, although he had suppressed her, he had also seen her terrifying potential. That Liuacha manifestation actually possessed countless invisible tentacles that extended into the void. It was simply that the Nine Underworld Liuacha was unable to activate those tentacles. Although Long Chen didn't know what those tentacles were for, they gave him a threatening feeling. That feeling was still fresh in his mind. Thus, he felt a powerful sense of crisis. Long Chen had the nine-star hegem in body art, but other people also had their terrifying trump cards. Furthermore, the nine underworld Liuacha was backed by the entire nine underworld hall. Her realm was also higher than his. If she awakened her manifestation first, he would definitely be the one at a disadvantage. That idiot Liao Benking had actually managed to raise such a frightening existence. So, Long Chen refused to believe that a crafty fox like Imputa wouldn't have any true experts as subordinates. Compared to Liao Benken, Long Chen was more afraid of that fat fox. Through this battle, Long Chen also understood Imputa and Liao Benken's true power. The power of an avatar was definitely less than a tenth of the true body. Fortunately, they were unwilling to pay the huge price to cross heavens personally. Otherwise, even 10,000 lives wouldn't be enough to survive that ordeal. After seeing the difference in power, Long Chen's fighting spirit was provoked. He was still young and had limitless potential. Time was his greatest weapon. Long Chen then left his room and sat through a transportation formation to the Liuo family. After that, he gave his two uncles two heaven-tier heavenly Dao fruits. That way, the Liuo family would have two heaven-tier immortal kings standing guard, and their foundation would be even more stable. He also left a large number of ordinary heavenly Dao fruit, doing his best to raise the Liuo family's disciples. Through this battle, he found that their potential was truly immense. Many of them had activated their violet blood, and that was almost equivalent to dragon blood battle armor. If the Liuo family's disciples were raised properly, they would become a very powerful army. At the same time, Long Chen also looked after the academy. The Liuo family's medicinal pills were provided by the Seventh Branch Academy. As his mother owed the Liuo family a great deal, he would carry this burden. Long Chen wasn't hoping for the Liuo family's disciples to do anything for him. He was purely thinking about repaying the Liuo family. Then, he would feel a bit better inside. Three days later, Long Chen's mind, body, and spirit were in peak condition. Putting on a new set of black robes with the Minghong saber on his back, he silently left the Seventh Branch Academy on his own. Chapter 3476 Giant Ship Long Chen stealthily left without saying goodbye to anyone. But by Shishi, Bai Ziol, Qin Feng, Kai Yu Zhu Zixin, and the others who were close to him knew that he had left. To avoid increasing any sad feelings, Long Chen didn't want them to send him off. In this world, nothing was constant. Every time they parted, it could be forever. No matter how powerful someone was, they were afraid of goodbyes. Having decided on his path, Long Chen could only continue down it. He couldn't retreat. However, when he stealthily slipped away from the academy, he could sense pairs of eyes behind him watching the direction he left from some hidden corners. Anyway, he could be at complete ease when it came to the Seventh Branch Academy, not to mention the protection of the main academy, even by Shishi alone was enough to stop their enemies. Back then, she was already able to fight Jiel Yuo all alone. Furthermore, as time passed and she digested the inheritance of the Master of the Golden Sword, she would continue getting stronger. It had to be known that this was an extraordinarily terrifying figure. 
Long Chen sat through multiple transportation formations and quickly reached the border of the Empyrean, Heaven Star Field. After passing through the border, he took out a map and set off in the northwestern direction. After another wild land, he saw another star field, which was an endless desert. He couldn't see any signs of civilization or any signs of wild beasts here. Long Chen then spent a whole day flying without the scenery changing in the slightest. It was just sand. That feeling of isolation made him think of death. At this moment, Long Chen squatted down and grabbed a fistful of sand. Sensing the endless time energy within, he sighed. The legend has it that this place was once a beautiful world of verdant hills and clear waters. There was abundant spiritual kai. But after a battle, it was turned into a land of death. Even after a trillion years, it has yet to recover. I wonder what kind of power can cause heaven and earth to wither like this. Even the heavenly dows are badly damaged. Long Chen knew that this sand was not natural. It was the result of a terrifying being causing such destruction that even the heavenly dows were affected, turning this place into a land of death. Novelum, comma, single person's power had been enough to destroy this star field. Just what kind of terrifying power did that require? Back on the martial heaven continent, Long Chen had encountered those who could control sand. But compared to this expert, there was simply no comparison. The place Long Chen was standing at had some of that ancient aura. But so much time had passed that even using the nine star hegemon body art to grasp the scars, left and look back didn't show Long Chen anything. He could only give up. Long Chen continued on his way still not sensing any signs of life. The heavenly dows were also listless. There was almost no spiritual kai here at all. Using the lightning falcon race's movement art, Long Chen's wings tore through the air. He was like an ancient bird as his speed was pushed to the limit. There were no mountains here, so he could fly without worrying about running into something. If someone was watching from a distance, they would only see a bolt of lightning streaking through the air and an endless dragon of sand flying out of the ground. Long Chen flew for three days and nights before reaching the edge of this region. As he entered a new star field, he finally saw some life forms. However, they were not humans, only some wild beasts. Although there was some slight spiritual kai here, it was very sparse and not suitable for cultivation. Even the beasts couldn't grow particularly big. After passing through another star field, occasionally checking his map to make sure that he was going in the right direction, Long Chen continued on. Without this map, going at such a wild speed, he would have long since gotten lost. He flew for a whole month and passed through seven star fields. Three areas were filled with death. Some of the star fields had some strange laws that affected a person's mind, and some of them had poison gas leaking. Even immortal kings could die to that poison if they stayed for too long. After all, not everyone had Long Chen's speed. An ordinary immortal king would take a whole month traveling day and night just to cross a single star field. Furthermore, Due to the lack of spiritual kai, some of these star fields couldn't even be crossed using flying boats. The meaning of the boat part meant that there needed to be water to cross, and the water here referred to spiritual kai. A world without spiritual kai could not be crossed by relying only on the flying boats, formations, and spirit stones. Thus, not many people possessed the ability to cross these star fields other than the Huayan Trading Company and the like who possessed special tools to cross such a world, few others could. But when Long Chen asked about it, he learned that the price was truly terrifying. Thus, the Huayan Trading Company had to store up a certain amount of wares before crossing such an area. Otherwise, all the money would be lost just by crossing. Long Chen was capable and had the guts to cross. He passed through so many star fields all on his own. 
it was only when he reached the eighth star field that he finally felt a burst of spiritual kai however the density of the spiritual kai here was still a far cry from the empyrean heaven star field where there was spiritual kai there was the human race also there was one good thing about long chen coming here no one recognized him and he was no longer the center of attention that actually gave him a very safe feeling with the human race present in this area everything was more convenient he found a prefecture city and after sitting through a few transportation formations he arrived at the edge of this star field in just half a day after passing through the barrier he found that there were fewer lands and more islands however the human race had some difficulties living here there were demonic beasts in the depths of the sea that threatened their lives this shoreside star field was filled with islands scattered about like stars in the sky however many islands were occupied by devil beasts there were also many resting sea demons only a small portion of these islands was occupied by the human race in order to survive they had no choice but to fight off sea demons that threatened their shores the legend was that the shoreside star field was once half land and half sea after that battle of the desolate era the land sank and the terrain changed resulting in so many islands the cultivators here usually hunted sea demons and other demonic beasts selling their corpses for money long chen's goal was the largest island called the long green island this island was actually a great deal larger than the heavenly swell domain it was also the island with the strongest defenses here if i want to go to the violet flame heaven i have to pay quickly the ship's going to be here soon if i miss it this time i'll have to wait three months for the next one long chen quickly rushed out of the transportation formation he heard people shouting on the other side well did i really come at just the right time long chen was delighted he hadn't expected his luck to be so good without waiting at all he could get onto the ship when he said that he wanted to get onto the ship someone immediately came to guide his way but just guiding his way required a fee of one immortal king crystal the immortal king who led long chen also explained various things to him and helped him handle some things it was quite worth it long chen then paid a hundred immortal king crystals as his fee for staying on the ship stepping onto the transportation formation he appeared before a grand and enormous ship following that he also saw a group of fiendish faces chapter three thousand four hundred seventy seven just wait little fellow i see that your clothes aren't bad i should warn you that you bought a room on the lowest level that place is packed and chaotic also many people have dirty hands and feet there i'd advise you to pay a bit more to get a better room said a mortal tier a mortal king his cultivation base was only average but his face was fierce he stared at long chen coldly long chen looked at him did they take him to be a novice who hadn't seen the world do you think i can't read it clearly said that i bought a room on the middle level said long chen lightly upon hearing this that person's expression sank he coldly said the middle level's rooms are all taken now people who bought middle level floors can only go to the low floor understood let's see if you're a smart person do you not understand what i'm saying long chen laughed inside it seemed that this move really was common the person that had led the way for him for an immortal king crystal had truly led him here that person made it seem like the price was very reasonable and after selling the ticket he sent long chen straight to this robber he was truly shameless long chen had clearly bought a room on the middle level but he was now told that he had to go to the low level to put it frankly they wanted him to buy a more expensive room if i say no asked long chen lightly no do you think you have that privilege if you don't want to get onto the ship then scram 
I've seen many people like you. Don't try to act profound with me, barked that person fearlessly. Get out of the way. If you have no money, then don't embarrass yourself here. Just then, a line began to form behind Long Chen. A fatty pushed past him, not even lining up and directly walking up. That fatty flashed a golden tablet, and the guards instantly let him through. That fatty looked arrogantly at Long Chen and the others before sneering and walking in. Do you see? That is true power, the willfulness of the rich. Those who don't have money should accept their fates and behave, sneered that immortal king. This giant ship was split into four levels, the low level, the middle level, the high level, and the top level. The high level cost over a thousand immortal king crystals, while the top level cost a full five thousand immortal king crystals. When Long Chen bought his ticket, someone had specifically explained just how luxurious the top floor was. There were even beautiful women to accompany people there, the kind that could do anything. There was also a special cultivation room, servants, and other things. It was a display of status and position. Long Chen wasn't lacking money, but he didn't want to be so exaggerated, so he had only bought a ticket for the middle level. The conditions there were average, but at least every person had a room on that level. It was passable. Unfortunately, things never went as he wished. Their cons came one after another like a bottomless hole. Is this how your soaring dragon company acts? The one claimed to be on the same level as the Huayan Trading Company. Long Chen frowned. Long Chen had learned that the Soaring Dragon Company was enormous and a competitor of the Huayan Trading Company. However, in many domains, the Soaring Dragon Company simply couldn't compare to the Huayan Trading Company. Despite that, they were still an enormous entity. Furthermore, it was said that their main business was focused within the violet flame heaven, and they had little business in the dark light heaven. The business of ferrying people across heavens was originally a competition between the Soaring Dragon Company and the Huayan Trading Company. However, a few thousand years ago, the Soaring Dragon Company's price per ticket plummeted, while the Huayan Trading Company's price remained the same. As a result, Almost all experts who wished to go to the Violet Flame Heaven chose to use the Soaring Dragon Company. Due to this, the Huayan Trading Company backed out from this business. Long Chen was also very curious about this. According to the Huayan Trading Company's rules, they couldn't con others. Their prices were always very fair. However, the Soaring Dragon Company actually used low prices to attract people. They were making a loss from that but gaining fame in this regard. Furthermore, after the Huayan Trading Company retreated from this business, the Soaring Dragon Company didn't increase the price. It was just that their service grew worse and worse. However, compared to a high ticket price, people seemed to be more willing to accept this lackluster service. But Long Chen was a bit irritated as he didn't like being conned. Little fellow, let me just warn you not to cause trouble for me. Either get on or scram. The immortal king immediately grew impatient when Long Chen brought up the Huayan Trading Company. His tone became even more threatening. Big brother, I'm afraid. Just then, Long Chen heard a tender voice behind him quivering slightly. Long Chen then looked back to see a girl hiding behind a man staring fearfully at those ominous experts in front of the boat. That man hastily comforted his little sister, but he was also very tense. It was just that he acted calm for his sister. Long Chen didn't bother continuing to quibble with these people, and he nodded. Seeing him submit, those immortal kings all looked at him disdainfully. They directly took Long Chen's silver tablet and replaced it with a bronze one. As a result, Long Chen's middle-level room became the low level, and with the price for a low-level ticket being 60 Immortal King Crystals, Long Chen lost out on 40 Immortal King Crystals. A flare of anger burst in his heart. He could eat anything with this mouth of his, 
but he refused to eat a loss. Little brats, just wait. Once we finish crossing, I'll show you who the boss is. Long Chen walked up. Clearly, the most broken one was the one for the low level. It was only after setting foot on the ship that he realized it was even bigger than it looked. That was due to the spatial runes inside the ship. At the low level, he felt like he had entered a bee's nest. All kinds of ruckus assaulted his ears. It was one floor, a single flat surface. There were no separate rooms or shelters. Everyone was like refugees sitting on the ground in small groups chatting. They were discussing whether or not things in the violet flame heaven would be better. They looked forward to excelling once they arrived. All of them were excited, so their voices were rather loud. There were millions of experts chatting on this level. Some were so excited that they were jumping around. Seeing that, Long Chen's anger diminished. It seemed that the atmosphere on the low level wasn't bad. The cultivation bases amongst these people varied. Some were immortal kings, but there were very few of them. The majority were divine lords like Long Chen with some four peak experts among them. Brother, if you don't mind, you can sit here. Seeing how packed this floor was, Long Chen was looking for a place for himself. If he wanted to sit on the ground, he had to at least have the space. At this moment, a warm voice called out to him. Long Chen nodded his thanks to that person, but his gaze ended up falling on a muscular, bald man who was occupying a large area all by himself. He then walked toward that bald man. Scran, this is my territory. Anyone who gets close will that immortal king glare at Long Chen darkly like a wild dog protecting its food and baring its teeth. Long Chen immediately slapped him. That bald man didn't even finish talking before he was sent flying and smashed into the wall. The noisy world instantly fell silent. Chapter 3478 Target Violet Flame Heaven Bang That bald man smashed into the wall. Although he had a sturdy body, he was like to smashing into the wall. His body was completely deformed. The bald man then slid down with a creaking sound, and his blood stained the wall. For a moment, everyone was struck dumb. This was a powerful, immortal king whose appearance was as ominous as a fiend. No one had dared to provoke him. Thus, when they saw the more refined-looking Long Chen send him flying with a slap, all their jaws dropped. Long Chen had been holding back a belly full of fire. This fellow was the most arrogant one here, occupying an area of several square meters just for himself. If Long Chen didn't put him in his place, he wouldn't be Long Chen. That bald man slid down. Half of his face was swollen like a pig's, while the other half was caved in. The handprint was still clear, looking both bizarre and funny. However, no one laughed. They were all staring in shock from Long Chen, to that bald man. They all knew that both of them were very tyrannical existences. That bald man suddenly coughed up blood and slowly stood, flames almost bursting out of his eyes. It was such a frightening sight that the others around him fled. If you want to die, then come. Long Chen didn't even look at him. He took out a blanket and sat lotus style where the bald man had been sitting. Shocking everyone, that bald man just looked at Long Chen and found a new place for himself. In the end, he didn't dare to attack. He chose a new place, and the people there hastily squeezed to the sides to make room for him. Although his space was now a bit smaller, it was more than enough for him. Clearly, he was afraid of causing trouble for Long Chen. Long Chen had long since seen that this person was a fake. He was nothing more than a spirit tier, a mortal king, and a very ordinary one at that. Such a figure could be killed in droves with a single slap from Long Chen, but this fellow wanted to show off here. Long Chen had given him a simple slap just as a warning. If he dared to retaliate, Long Chen wouldn't be so courteous. 
Entering just behind Long Chen was a brother and sister pair. The little sister was shaking. It seemed that she had never seen such a thing before. If you want to sit, then sit. I don't need this much space for myself. Long Chen smiled slightly at this frightened little girl. Then many thanks. The big brother hesitated, but ultimately brought his little sister over to sit beside Long Chen. There were two of them, and the surroundings were packed. So, it was difficult for them to find a good spot. Since they didn't want to separate and Long Chen had invited them, they directly sat. Seeing that Long Chen was not rejecting people from his space, the others coming in all brazenly walked over to his side, first thanking Long Chen before sitting. This level gradually returned to its noisy state. People once more began to chat, and many people that didn't know each other introduced themselves. All of them were excited. Through listening to their conversations, Long Chen learned that less than half of these people came from this locality. The majority were from other star fields. They had spent their life's savings to buy a ticket to the violet flame heaven. Moreover, it wasn't just a ticket, but a chance, that they dreamed of, a new cultivation world that they had only heard of in legends. The majority of the people here had good talents, but they didn't have much confidence in their eyes. To put it frankly, they were all poor people. Many of them had used up almost their entire family savings to buy the ticket. Some people were carrying the hopes of their entire families. To sum it up, they were full of hope and anticipation for the future. Seeing their excited expressions, Long Chen sighed inside. The stronger the place, the harsher the competition. Although there would be more opportunities, there would also be more cruel pitfalls that devoured people without leaving a trace. Unable to achieve their dreams in the dark light heaven, they thought that they could grasp an opportunity to soar in the violet flame heaven. That wasn't realistic. However, seeing their hopeful expressions toward the future, Long Chen was also affected. Wasn't life simply this way? You could choose to change your life, or you could choose to not change it at all. If you lived a calm and peaceful life with no excitement all the way until you were old, what would be the point? Long Chen suddenly smiled as he felt like he had gotten old. Even the viewpoint from which he looked at things was not the same as these people. Big brother, where are you from? Long Chen was surprised that the little sister of the brother-sister pair would take the initiative to speak to him. Little Rui. Her big brother jumped in horror, glaring at her. It was very rude to ask for someone's origins as soon as they met. Many experts would have a bad reaction to this. He hastily said to Long Chen, Brother, my apologies. This little sister of mine doesn't know manners. Please don't take offense. Long Chen smiled slightly. It's fine. I heard that the journey is quite long. We can chat to pass the time. I came from a very far off place. You wouldn't know it even if I told you. I suppose that you two must be from the shoreside star field. Oh, uh, big brother, how did you know? Little Rui stared at Long Chen with her eyes wide open. This little Rui might not look particularly beautiful, but she did have a warm and sweet air to her. She was still innocent and didn't have any scheming inside her at all. Hence, Long Chen couldn't help but have a good feeling toward her. You guys have the particular aura of the laws of the shoreside star field. It's very easy to recognize, explained Long Chen. The shoreside star field's native experts consumed medicinal pills that were mostly refined out of the demonic beasts from the bottom of the sea. As an alchemist, it was very easy for Long Chen to distinguish this. You're right. We are native to this place. Ah, my apologies. This junior brother is by Fang, and this junior sister is by Rui. May I ask for brother's name? Only then did Bai Feng notice that he hadn't introduced himself. I am Long Chen. Long Chen didn't conceal his name. In any case, no one here knew him. 
I didn't think that big brother Long Chen was so amazing. Plus, you're very nice and friendly. You look really good when you smile, said Bai Rui, seemingly not afraid of him at all. Long Chen was speechless. It seemed that his random smile, when he was thinking about how old he had gotten, had caused this girl to no longer fear him. As time passed, more and more people came in, so this place became more and more packed. Occasionally, someone from the ship would come in and shout at them. They said that there was still space in the middle level, so if anyone didn't want to stay packed here, they could pay the difference for a better room. When Long Chen saw that the person shouting was the one who had stopped him, his anger once more flared. This bastard, was he intentionally trying to anger him? After a few hours, the ship began to quiver slightly, and a cheer rang out. We're setting off. The giant ship slowly began to move, braving the winds and waves, pushing forward with ever-increasing speed. The land quickly vanished from Long Chen's vision. A slight smile appeared on his lips. Violet flame heaven, boss Long San is coming. Are you prepared? Chapter 3479 Brother and Sister of the Bai Clan Standing on the Deck Long Chen felt the sea breeze blow and his clothes flapped loudly. The giant ship was moving rapidly, but on this endless sea he was unable to sense its speed. Long Chen looked at the distant morning sun. Ever since coming to the immortal world, it was his first time feeling the sea breeze. Although the heavenly swell domain had a sea as well, it was the devil's sea, a sea of death. So the water was flat. On the other hand, this place was a true sea, filled with life. Flowing across the vast sea, Long Chen felt himself to be so small. This wasn't in terms of power but mind. It was a strange feeling. Looking at this endless sea, others might feel fear, but he very much enjoyed it. Only by feeling just how small he was did he feel like an ordinary commoner. Sometimes living like a regular, ordinary person was real life. Sometimes Long Chen thought about whether he could live a normal, tranquil life. He would rather not have his current cultivation base and simply accompany his lovers through a peaceful life. Regretfully, he wasn't the sea but a raging river he could not stop. Perhaps that only proved that he wasn't strong enough. Bit brother Long Chen. Suddenly, a sweet voice drew him out of his stupor. Bai Rui had come. This was already their third day on the ship, and everyone was familiar with each other now. She kept calling him Big Brother Long Chen the entire time, just like her own big brother. Seeing this brother and sister come over, Long Chen smiled. Little Rui, be careful. This is the lower level, and there's no formation to protect you. You might get chills from the wind. There were all sorts of formations on this giant ship. It was unknown if it was intentional or what, but on the low level, the sea breeze was extremely chilly. Even ordinary cultivators would be chilled. Considering Bai Rui's weak constitution, she was unable to endure even a single day. He he, I'm not afraid. With big brother Long Chen's medicinal pill, I'm no longer afraid of the cold, declared Bai Rui with a giggle. On that day, seeing her suffer, Long Chen had given her a medicinal pill that gave her a natural resistance to the cold. Now, after seeing that Long Chen was just standing on the deck, she came over with Bai Fang. Long Chen felt great sympathy for these two. According to Bai Fang, they were once a noble family, but their enemies had massacred them, and their family was destroyed. Of over three thousand people, only the two of them had managed to escape. Seeing the mournful gaze in their eyes, Long Chen didn't doubt their words. While fleeing, they hadn't even had time to gather up any of their family's treasures. The two of them had sold off everything they had on them in order to pay for two tickets for the ship. Now, they didn't even have a single Immortal King crystal. Moreover, the two of them didn't have much experience out in the world. 
if it hadn't been for long chen stopping them they might have casually said their origins in front of every one to others the violet flame heaven was a place for them to chase their dreams but to the two of them it was somewhere they were fleeing to in order to escape their enemies after learning about their dismal state long chen grew more amiable toward them delighting the two of them long chen was someone who didn't even fear an immortal king so he was definitely a peak expert to be able to make friends with such an expert was an unimaginable fortune for them in their current state just as they were talking long chen suddenly frowned and looked up he saw someone staring at them from the middle level either intentionally or unintentionally that person pretended that his gaze was simply roving around and he turned his head in the other direction what is it big brother long chen asked bai rui seeing long chen's somewhat odd expression it's nothing let's go back this place is cold long chen shook his head and brought the two of them back to their little space although the interior was also cold it was at least a bit better than the outside at this time the blaze of everyone's excitement had almost been blown out by these cold winds many people were shivering already this wind was odd and was able to chill them down to their bones it was like they were in the depths of the sea most terrifying of all this cold breeze seemed to also be able to blow away their yuan spirits some of the four peak disciples felt that in particular furthermore the most infuriating thing was that the people on the middle level were all having a pleasant time without the slightest breeze now the people on the lower level even suspected that the soaring dragon company had done this on purpose however they were already on their ship so they could only listen to the soaring dragon company they didn't dare to say anything or unleash their wrath they could only endure long chen returned to his space and found that there were a few foreign faces now they were all immortal kings bai fang also took note of them long chen clearly felt bai fang tense up but he was worried about affecting his little sister so he acted like he hadn't seen anything everyone this place is the low level and our soaring dragon company has no duty to activate the formation for you however considering your weak constitutions we are going to give you some special care the company has decided to activate the formation for you suddenly a group of experts in lavish clothes walked in with their leader speaking long chen eyed that person and sneered it was the same fellow who had conned long chen out of his middle level ticket he was back however long chen didn't immediately do anything he wanted to see just how shady the soaring dragon company was cheers rang out in the cabin when they heard that the formation would be activated however that man sneered but don't get happy too early activating the formation requires a huge number of immortal king crystals those immortal king crystals should be paid by you but my soaring dragon company pities you so we have decided to help you pay the majority all of you need to only pay a single immortal king crystal each a hissing sound rang out it seemed that they wanted more money however those on the low level were all essentially broke every immortal king crystal was incomparably precious to them as for bai fang and bai rui their pockets were empty they were unable to take out an immortal king crystal for the others every single immortal king crystal was being saved for emergencies what if when they arrived at the violet flame heaven they didn't even have a single bit of money then they would become beggars don't blame me for not warning you right now we are still on the outer edge once we enter the deep sea region especially when crossing the fiend devil sea the feeling of cold will be a hundred times stronger let alone some four peak rookies even immortal kings will freeze don't worry you won't freeze to death but your realm might fall and your foundation could be harmed he he but if you want to risk your life to save money that's up to you just pretend i didn't say anything 
fearing that it would be a hundred times worse later. Everyone was scared. In the end, they could only accept this and take out immortal king crystals. Long Chen sneered inside. There were millions of experts here. The Soaring Dragon Company was truly a group of scammers. What kind of broken formation required millions of immortal king crystals? It wasn't just Long Chen who understood this. However, there was nothing they could do. The price of one immortal king crystal was at least somewhat bearable for them. Long Chen paid for Bai Fang and Bai Rui. He had Bai Fang hand them over because he was afraid that he would kill that irritating immortal king if they were face to face. It still wasn't the time for him to repay his debt. As expected, money could make even ghosts work. When the formation was activated, the cold breeze instantly vanished. Everything warmed up and everyone was excited. They now felt very comfortable. Brother Long, I have something to discuss with you. Bai Fang suddenly began talking spiritually with Long Chen. Speak, said Long Chen. I have a priceless treasure in my hand, but others might have set their sights on it. I beg you to protect our lives. I am willing to give this treasure to you, said Bai Fang. Chapter 3480 Settling Debt Are They After That Treasure? asked Long Chen. Yes. This treasure has caused the deaths of everyone in my family. Now it's just the two of us left. I didn't expect them to refuse to let us off even now, said Bai Fang hatefully. Ever since those people had set their sights on Bai Fang and Bai Rui, Long Chen already felt that things were not so simple. After all, the two of them were lacking experience. Although they had changed their appearance, their technique wasn't very good. Long Chen could easily see through it, but he simply acted like he couldn't. I don't mind if I die, but I am worried that my sister won't be able to survive on her own. She is terrified of the world and probably wouldn't survive much longer like this. Brother Long, I beg you to help us. Bai Long looked at Long Chen pleadingly. Currently, Bai Rui was sleeping on her big brother's lap. She was blithely unaware that a crisis had already befallen them. I can't. As long as you don't leave my side, I can guarantee your safety. Long Chen nodded. Many thanks, Brother Long. I will immediately ask for the treasure. It's all right. I'm not greedy for your treasures. I'm only helping you because I think that you are kind. In my opinion... A kind heart should be treated warmly. Long Chen waved his hand. The two of them didn't have any scheming in their hearts at all. Otherwise, they wouldn't be viewed as bad sheep by others. As for whatever their so-called priceless treasure was, Long Chen wasn't interested. Just looking at their cultivation bases, he could tell that their background wasn't powerful. He was only helping them out of sympathy. This promise from Long Chan instantly made Bai Fang's eyes redden. Ever since they were forced to flee for their lives, Long Chen was the only good person they had encountered. Originally, the two of them had some money on them, but due to not knowing the pitfalls of the world, they ended up suffering some losses. All their money was conned away. If they hadn't bought the tickets for the ship in advance, they might not even have this final hope left. Without any experience and with bad luck plaguing them, they only encountered bad people. Bai Fang even felt like sometimes there was no more hope for them. Long Chen's existence was like a final straw of hope. Bai Fang could see that Long Chen was powerful. Originally, he was hoping to obtain Long Chen's support after arriving at the Violet Flame Heaven. After all, the two of them had no idea where to go in the violet flame heaven. Unexpectedly, even on the ship, they were targeted. Feeling afraid, he begged for aid from Long Chen, and Long Chen readily agreed without wanting any reward. That made Bai Fang feel the sunlight within his world of darkness. The ship pressed onward. Wild winds and storms would sometimes buffet it. The other times, there would be a bright and glaring sun. 
even this giant ship appeared minuscule on this endless sea. Furthermore, Long Chen sensed some strange laws affecting the space around. It was very difficult to fly here. There were invisible chaotic spatial currents. One mistake and you might be blown to who knew where. Even if you possessed a powerful physical body that didn't fear the current, in that chaotic flow, it wouldn't be long before you were so lost that you would never be able to find your way out. As the ship moved, Long Chen felt like it was passing through the starry sky. There were endless stars above, while at the bottom there seemed to be another starry sky. That feeling was truly mysterious. Long Chen thought of the clumps of nebulas that the heavenly rainbow fairy had shown him. Those were the nine heavens. There seemed to be a black area between the heavens separating them. Long Chen then looked at the originally blue seawater. It was starting to turn black. This was further proof that the heavenly rainbow fairy had shown him the true world. Long Chen often went to the deck and just stared out into space. Bai Fang and Bai Rui were very obedient, never separating from him. As for those immortal kings that had suddenly appeared, they seemed to be getting a bit impatient. A hey, brat, this is your middle-level tablet. Go to your room. The Kin man that had scammed Long Chen appeared, tossing a silver tablet to Long Chen. Bai Fang tensed up. Bai Rui didn't know what was going on, but she didn't want to part with Long Chen as she would feel afraid. No matter how inexperienced she was, she still managed to notice those immortal kings eyeing them. Long Chen didn't catch the tablet. So, the tablet that countless people in the low level dreamed of obtaining clattered to the ground. What do you think you're doing? That man's expression darkened. I'm doing whatever you're doing, said Long Chen indifferently. It seemed that the ones to set their sights on Bai Fang were the Soaring Dragon Company. This practically toppled Long Chen's understanding of businessmen. Are you looking to die? Killing intent appeared in that man's eyes. It seemed that he had also been holding back a long time and couldn't endure any longer. That's precisely what I was going to say to you. Long Chen smiled. Just then, over ten experts surrounded Long Chen. Several of them had been brought by this man while the others had been eyeing Bai Fang and Bai Rui this entire time. They were all immortal kings. Seeing this, Bai Rui cried out in horror and hid behind Bai Fang. Bai Fang also jumped in fear. So many immortal kings were making their move all at once. He was worried that Long Chen wouldn't be able to stop them. He wanted to help but there was nothing he could do against so many immortal kings. He was nothing more than an ordinary mid-stage divine lord, not a match for these people. His head turned empty. If you want to die, I'll kill you right now, said that man. Long Chen didn't immediately reply. He only turned to Bai Rui, who was pale with fright. You're tired. Sleep for a bit. Bai Rui's head suddenly buzzed. Just like that, she collapsed on Bai Fang's back, sleeping. Only then did Long Chen turn back. His smile vanished, replaced with an icy expression. What did you say just now? I said, if you want to die, I'll kill you, shouted that man. Boom. He had just finished speaking when Long Chen's leg kicked out like lightning, striking him right in the chest. That man was sent flying like a cannonball, smashing into the wall. The immense power caused the ship to shake. No one knew whether it was a coincidence or not, but the place he smashed into was the same spot that the bold man had been slapped into at the start of the journey. However, this kick was even more vicious. The wall was several feet thick and made of the best steel. Because of it, the bold man had only left some bloodstains as he slid down, and the wall had been undamaged. But this time, a hole was smashed into that thick wall. That man coughed up three mouthfuls of blood. Even some of his insides were spat out. His head tilted as he collapsed on the ground just like that. It was unknown if he was dead or alive. Die! 
the other immortal kings were enraged. They hadn't expected Long Chen to dare to attack first. They pounced on him. After that, a cold light flashed and over ten heads flew into the air at once.